Oh. Oh, okay, no, no one's here again. Damn it. Shit. Ah. Oh, uh, 20 minute intro, real streamer? Yeah, damn right. Get fucked. You know? Maybe, maybe if you. How do I spin this around? Is it chat's fault? Chat, it's just your fault. I don't even, I don't even need to spin it. I don't need to gaslight you. You just, I can just say it's your fault. <laughs> D colon. <laughs> No D colons, chat. That's the last D colons of the day. Use up your D colons now. No more D colons after that. Everything's gonna be all smooth sailing from here. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, get them out. Get them out now. Real tilted tree coming in with that D colon. God damn it. Son of a bitch. What song? This is Paris. White no, uh, that's the album. Uh, Saint Patrick. Saint Patrick by Paris on White Noise. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, let's make sure I have the latest cannoli. Get pull. Okay. Okay. Ooh, talk about? All right, all right. I got your D colons out. Okay, now we can start streaming. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see if this works today. Let's see if this works. I should get some new stuff. All right, chat. Who's ready for an un unbagging? All right, we'll start out with, uh, with this one. We got, we got a cannoli. We got a cannoli. Look at that, where's the face? <laughs> we got a cannoli. There we go. Nice. Nice. Actually like 3D lumps or chocolate chips. So we got a we got a nice cute little cannoli here. And the tag covers the face a bit. But we got a cannoli. That's good. That's good. And then we got 
his boots upon the floor, first banner the beat for. Then we. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> then we got we got our avocado. <laughs> oh my god, the avocado is good. Look at look at that. Look at that unit. <laughs> Party dip, you get to be the avocado. And portagun, you get to be the cannoli. Oh, it even has a little it has a little stem. Look at look at that! Look at that! Look at that! All right. Oh, we got one more plushie. I gotta go grab them quick. Out. This one doesn't come out very often. I'm Moriana. You get to be an apple pie. There you go with a little, little dollop of ice cream on top. Allocate some good space for the avocado plushie. <laughs> All right. Um, Econet Dudu, thank you so much for the 10 months of support. Hell yeah. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day, a wonderful life. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, uh, we have to write code today, chat. We actually want to write code that does stuff today. So unlike most days where we don't do anything productive and we just fuck around, um, <laughs> uh, we're actually going to make usable code today. I know. Chill, okay? Chill. Relax. This is a one-time deal. We're not going to keep doing this all the time. We're still going to fuck around and do unproductive things. But today we're going to write productive code. So if you're not familiar with cannoli, you can do bang cannoli. And that will give you a blog and the code for cannoli, which is what we're starting with. Git log. So I am completely synced with origin, uh, origin main. I'm not on anything. Um, I don't have a unique branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to build cannoli. So if I take this link from GoodHub, and it tells me that I drew this. Do you like this? Chat, do you like this? Believe it, believe it or not, I drew this myself. Uh, yeah, if you're looking, if you're looking for an artist, I'm here, okay? I'm here, okay. Uh, good thing you clarified on was left when you said we would do productive things. <laughs> All right, so cannoli is a super fast tracer for Kimu. You can tell because there's a graph. If there's ever a graph with code, you know there's going to be perf, okay? So I think we'll go with this today, maybe this. So since there's a graph, it means there's perf. Uh... Basically, we can do tracing at 2.2 billion instructions per second in Kimu, which is pretty good. If you've used anything like Unicorn, you're more used to things that would actually be off the graph because they're probably in the million. 
instructions a second. So this is like 200 times faster than basically what everyone else uses. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this into coverage today. So I already checked out Cannoli. That's fine. We're going to grab uh, Kimu. This is actually the wrong Kimu link. Let's fix that. Just only sit and pray, only praying for keeps you just a ghost at most. It's uh, unseen bones. Okay, so we're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna grab Kimu here, cause we're gonna have to build Kimu with our patches. Okay, that sound good, chat. Is this an early stream or a late stream? Uh, it's midday. It's early stream for me. How much for a painting of your cannoli? It's gonna be pretty expensive. Okay, so we're just checking out Kimu. I'm gonna update that link real quick. Because we have a mirror link in there, and that is my mistake. You poor unfortunate soul. That is the actual Kimu link, and sometimes they desync just by a smidgen. From that close. Okay, and then we're going to apply those changes. So we're going to go into Kimu. We're going to do, uh, uh, let's lowercase this. And then we don't need CD build make build. We can do dot slash configure. Kimu will automatically do that. And then we'll just say like J, I don't know, 48. It's fine. People can figure it out. Um, and then today, yeah, I think we're good. So we're in Kimu. We're then going to get AM three-way uh, cannoli Kimu patches. Okay, and that has applied all of our patches to Kimu, which is great because this is a new Kimu. I've never checked this version out. And then we should be able to do a configure. And then with cannoli, we give it home pleb cannoli. And it will know that that's cannoli. And this should hopefully build. And yeah, this will automatically set it up to use a build directory. So we don't need those instructions there. Uh, git commit am fixed uh, kimu git link and changed build instructions as kimu automatically uses a build folder from the root. Git push. Okay. All right, so uh, now we just build this, uh, J48. And this should build for all this. Actually, nope, nope, undo, undo. Uh, remove build. We're going to configure... Let's see if we can do everything right now. I don't know if we can with these instructions, but I know that there's an active bug. Make J without number is... Uh, really? We'll have to try that. I didn't know that. Has that always been a thing? Um, given without an argument, it will not limit the number of jobs that can... No, okay, that's... No, that's bad. <laughs> it will just use as many jobs as it wants to. <laughs> so that's, that's not good, okay? Why you know Ninja? Uh, Cause it, I mean, uh, I don't know how to use Ninja. I'm just gonna do make. Cause I think it just uses Ninja under the hood. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna fail to build for some of the architectures. There is a new architecture that's being pushed as of like a, a few weeks ago, long soon. Um. Long song. But I just want to make sure that everything builds. One architecture won't build. We're going to have to go and do a cannoli fix for that. And that's okay. That's not too bad to add. Uh, oh, sweet God, can you hear me? 
Where is the new plushie? We got the avocado. Oh, welcome to the avocado stream. Today, we're gonna be writing some code. Uh, we're gonna be making some changes to Kimu. Uh, that's basically what we're gonna be working on today. Um, we're gonna make some coverage support for cannoli. Oh, which I think is going to be really good. Maybe we'll make it so it can be symbolized coverage. So, welcome to the avocado stream! Yay! Woo! Uh, then we have, uh, then we have the cannoli. <laughs> Why does it sound like Mr. Hanky? But yeah, that's, those are the new, uh, the new ones today. You really are a symbol of developer stress and mental challenges. <laughs> oh yeah, I took out my carpet. I don't know if you noticed, but I no longer have carpet in this room. You probably noticed by the way that it is. Uh, but I can now go like this. No, but mainly that carpet was from 2004 in a house that probably had two or three dogs and four kids. And it smelled like shit, so I got rid of it because it was disgusting. Every day where it would be like sunny, uh, sunny and warm, it would just reek in here. And it got so bad yesterday that I ripped out the carpet. I have no plan yet. Uh, I'm, I think, well, my plan is I'm going to do my own hardwood, but I haven't like decided what kind of hardwood. But I'm going to put in hardwood myself because I think I would really enjoy cutting it perfectly and like doing a really, really, really good job. Maybe do some ornate shit. Okay, so this fills the build because Lung Song. And uh, let's see. Is Long Arch related to uh, Long Soon? The MIPS thing? Or is this some other shit? Um, okay, so if we look at the cannoli patches, you will find that for all of these architectures, target whatever CPU, we add these fields to the end of uh, CPU arc state. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go into uh, target long arch CPU.h CPU. I didn't find a better way to do this. This is the only stuff that's exposed to um, the JIT, and I needed storage that was accessible from inside the JIT. So this is what we did. And now this should fix the build for uh, Long Song. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully everything will now build. I'm burning up my burning up. Oh, chat, 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 chat. Wait. The internet's coming this week. I don't know when. I don't know when. My project manager said, let me, let me dictate an email to you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I got this email on Monday. Monday, two days ago. Hi, Brandon. Uh, I see I, I see you're uh, getting back from vacation today, so no worries. We should be able to get the final installation on schedule very soon. I'm hoping, okay, maybe not this week. I'm hoping by the end of this week. I will contact you by phone for the final installation. I'm awaiting for the update for the testing to make sure we're good to move forward. So theoretically, they're hoping to have it this week. I haven't gotten the call yet, though. Um... <laughs> Karaoke stream when? Uh, 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 when? 
uh, when we reach a thousand subscribers, I'll put up a sub goal for uh, for uh, karaoke stream. 4K hot tub stream when? See, the thing is, this looks bad at this bitrate, unfortunately. Uh, feels bad. What are you gonna host? I don't know, my OnlyFans? Bunch of feet pics? There's a burning And the tables are turning High speed feed picks. <laughs> Only perf. All right, so uh, Kimu now builds, so I have to re update the patch. What is, uh, how do I make a patch? Uh, get, uh, get, what's AM? That merges one. Get patch, a standard out. Get, uh, get AM. Uh, get diff, get diff, uh, origin master. Why do I feel like I did like standard out? I feel like I did something else. What's get show? No, I don't, I don't want that. Uh, I don't think so. Get diff P. Generate patch. Oh, that's the default. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that must be what it was. Um, okay. I did something where I had to do like dash dash standard out. Get format patch. That's the one. Um, that's the one. That might have dropped a patch in here. Uh, get commit am uh, update uh, added. Luong Arc support get format patch uh, origin master standard out. Otherwise, it drops a bunch of patch files, and that is actually what I was using. Uh, get status git commit am added long arc support git push. Okay, so that's done. For email the GitHub of the 80s, yeah. All right, so that is now in, and we can then do uh, 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 uh. okay. So what do we have here? Is this the Kimu thing? Yes, it is. Yeah, and the internet's gonna be four gigabit. I'm excited. I'm curious if it will work. Okay, so, um, I don't think we have to do anything more with Kimu because we built our Kimu. Hey, Dev Angels, how's it going? Good evening. Have you tried to run Windows under the patch Kimu? No, it doesn't work on Kimu system. Only Kimu user. Um, all right. So that looks good. And then we should have these binaries in build. Yes. And then if I run like Kimu Mipsel, there should be a cannoli option. Nice. Like that's sick, but I'm paying 69 months for gigabit parity. I uh, can't imagine paying that much for Forex the bandwidth. Uh, you don't get you don't get gigabit though. <laughs> you get up to gigabit. <laughs> you don't have an SLA. You don't have uh, no routing. You don't have a sh you don't have an unshared connection. How many IPs do you give? They give you. I think I get eight. I I get like a slash thirty, which is six. Or a slash 20, you know, whatever it is, I think I get six. Um, I think I get six. Or they subnet me out for six, but I think they give me two, 
but I think I can get the other. I don't, I don't quite understand. <laughs> I don't quite understand. Um, I only asked for two, so. You got five? Because you can't use the dot zero? Uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see. Um, can you describe the use cases of cannoli? It's just for getting all, it's for logging all memory access and all uh, instruction executions of a program, of a Linux program in Kimu. So an emulated target where you want to get coverage. Well, it technically wasn't meant to support coverage. We're going to add that today. But it's just meant for tracing and logging of all memory accesses and all, all those sorts of things. So let's see. Um, okay. The difference between my internet is my internet is not up to 4 gigabit. It's always 4 gigabit. If I get 3.99 gigabit, it's considered an outage and I'm no longer paying for it. I'm getting refunded. It has to always be 4 gigabit full duplex. It's not shared with neighbors. There's no one else on the connection. It is the same level grade internet that you would have in a data center for hosting. It's the same reason why you don't host things from your house, even if you have decent internet. Got my gigabit fiber now. Oh, oh, oh. with a 450 megabit SLA? I didn't even know you could get SLAs at home. That is sick. I'm surprised they give you that. Was that worth the 2,500? I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Who knows? I would hope so. All right. <laughs> business package, how much? For business, you probably pay like a three to four X premium over residential i would imagine so probably 200 oh fuck 72 pounds 72 pounds yeah yeah i said oh so, so sorry 72 quid yeah go 72 quid on that <laughs> i also wasn't aiming this high yeah What kind of ping times to Google? I expect they'll be pretty short. I'm probably like two or three hops now from the local Google. But I don't know. It probably depends on the Google thingy. <laughs> Go boil the kettle and make a cup, uh, yeah? Yeah? Go make a cup of tea. I'll put some milk in it, yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, We have to... Okay, let's go into one of the examples, because I think now all of our devs are going to be on cannoli. Um, we're going to build cannoli, because this is what it tells me to do. Oh, I think this might fail. No, I did. I fixed. There was one Rust feature that changed that I used. But I think this builds out of the box now. Yes, it does. Okay, so uh, let's do a Rust up update and just make sure that this builds on the bleeding edge Rust. Um... Okay, so we're doing a one-day update. Okay, so I apparently had a pretty updated Rust. <laughs> we got to the dev quickly today. As opposed to what? We got to the dev quick every day. Come on. Come on, we always get to the dev quickly. We never go on tangents and rants here. What are you talking about? <sighs> Needs more ants. <laughs> All right, so that builds. That's great. Um, oh, and I can do, I think, workspace. I think this builds everything. Like, this builds all my examples. I want to make sure that my examples are building just fine as well. 
With four gigabit, you could connect the neighbors to make money off of it. I thought about that. Thank you for your stream, Gamosi. You make the Rust commu community less antisocial? I feel like the Rust community is actually pretty damn social. <laughs> Oh my god, does everything build? Let's see if the example visualization works. Uh, visualization. Oh, how do you run an example? There's like a cargo run help example. And I think I want to do release. Run the uh, example under. Oh, it's uh, what? What? Did I typo? Can you not run an example like this? Oh, do I have to give the full path? Is it this? No. Do I have to say workspace? Uh, how do I run an example? Is it broken? Does it not work on workspaces? Add the examples. Can I do it here? Uh... Uh... Can I do it for a workspace? Or do I have to put this in uh, Rust example? Rust. Uh, I'm trying to find docs, but it's hard to search for Rust example. Rust, uh, ru uh, Rust cargo example. Let's see. Cargo, Rust by example. No, Rust, no. Um, God, it would be really nice if I could find documentation on this, but you literally cannot search for this. Um, example. Cargo targets example. Wait, see, uh, under that are example uses. When compiled or placed in that. Um, so I think I put it on the individual project. So I put it in here. And why are there two why are there two brackets? We're just gonna say visualization. Can't find that. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I do it on a workspace then? Probably not. I don't think that would make sense. Nope. Yeah, you can't. Okay, you just can't do it with workspaces then. Sick. Uh. We'll just run it out of here. Well. Uh. 
There we go. Okay. So I think what I can then do is if I go into cannoli examples. Uh, then if I go into visualization. Hmm. Oh, I guess anything I run in Kimu will run in this. So let's try, uh, let's try this. Kimu. Um, Kimu build, uh, Mipsol Linux, uh, ooh. Mipsol on example app. Okay, and then if I do Kimu Cannoli is uh, home. I'm, I've been trying to use dollar sign home. I think dollar sign home works. I don't, I actually, let's see if I can use tilde here. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Uh, Kimu, uh, Cannoli, uh, bup, 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 bup. uh, target release. Libcanoli.so, uh, libcanoli server, I think. Nice. Index out of bounds. Oh, I think I have this trimmed up to like use specific addresses. All right, we don't really care about the visualization to be honest. Um, sudo uh, or kill all Kimu Mipsol. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just do over here. We can do cargo run release. And this should just work. Yeah, that symbolizes everything. So we, we got our client, then we lost our client. We got the parent PID, the PID, the TID. We got the COM, all that sort of stuff. And then all of the uh, memory operations, all of the execution, and everything is symbolized. So this is pretty good. But the problem is this is gonna be relatively slow. So if I go into benchmark, Let's go into benchmark. Let's see what we're getting right now. Um, actually, I want to go this way. So over here, we'll do, uh, instead of example app, this is benchmark. Okay. So executed that many instructions in that time. 549 million instructions a second. Um, and let's see what this code is doing. I don't think we're hooking memory. Well, we are hooking memory. We are just discarding the uh, callbacks. So I think we want to change that. Um, yeah, in this case, that's going to be pretty slow. Let's try it again. And how many threads am I using? Four threads to process. Uh... Oops. What about the pretty grass? I uh, get fucked. So if I turn off memory hooks, I think I get my perf back now. Um, and this fails because it gets an unexpected call back. Uh, yeah, so let's go into cannoli. We just have to build cannoli. That makes sense because we're using an old uh, server. Okay, I lied. Oh, it's because I'm literally not uh, connected or I'm not running it. There we go. Um, 564. Why is that so slow? Why is it so slow now? What has changed? That's so fucking slow now. Composed of fucking bones and demon lambs. Hook. Uh, am I doing something that's slow? Is it my fault? 
No, that should be pretty fast. Track number of instructions in the trace. This happens in parallel. Trace is just empty. Is a masterpiece. Shout out to the artists. D colon. I said no more D colons today. Oh, how do we do this, chat? Why is our perf so bad? Laps start. If I got rid of this, let's see what happens. Please watch over me. What would have changed? That's inf because we're not getting any callbacks. And that makes sense. Are you streaming? Oh my god, it's that. I think it's literally because I'm streaming. I think it's literally because I'm streaming. Um, let's see if I can. Uh, I literally think it's because I'm streaming. Uh. Numa control Membind one. Numa control. Let's see if this does anything. I got to turn the hooks on again. No matter how hard I try. Yeah, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to get the perf when I'm streaming. Let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to close Twitch in my browser. Let's see if closing that, I'm going to close uh, Discord as well. So now the only thing that's really eating CPU is just OBS. Let's see if that does anything. Yeah, now we're at 635. And that was just closing my browser and Discord. That was 730, 716. Yep. And here, here I'll go again. I'm going to open up Firefox again. Twitch.tv Gamozo. Good channel. You should follow it. Like and subscribe. So I've got Twitch open again in Firefox, and here we go. Back to 500s. Yep. Yep. So sometimes you get a, a higher one, but uh, yeah, it is that sensitive to your to your system because we're using we're using basically all of your memory bandwidth. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make this a little bit faster. But Electron is so small! <laughs> okay, so what we can do now is we can... Uh, we can... We're going to add... Uh, yeah, we're, let's go into Cannoli and let's start writing some code. Cannoli, I can say... You're doing everything, everything. Okay, these hooks are going to change from booleans, uh, or booleans, as they say. Uh, and then we'll do cargo watch here. Electrolalon. <laughs> Uh, 
I should set up a different computer for streaming because that's tilting, man. Electral Omegalolon. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let's go and change these from Booleans. So we'll go into the let's go into the meat. Uh, cannoli internals. All right. Hook mem. Where are the traits? Oh, these aren't traits. Okay. Um, Pub enum hook type. Different types of hooks. Can I SSH into pull or no? All of my computers are offline now. I have nothing online. <laughs> I have like one computer online. Uh, different types of hooks. We're going to do... Um... um one shot. The um, callback for a given hook gets invoked only once uh, per uh, rejitting. Why are they off? Uh, I just, I, I'm actually using them for compute stuff. I just don't really do anything online that needs compute, so I moved them offline. Um, okay, uh, the callback for a given hook gets invoked only once per, uh, reject. Um, this means that the callback might happen multiple times. Um, oh, uh, only once for a given PC. Um, for example, you will get one memory. Yeah. I'm gonna turn down my music just a smidge. Um, this uses self-modifying code to disable the callback once it has been hit once. It's possible due to race conditions or to Kimu rejitting, uh, rejitting, rejitting um, the code that the uh, callback fires again this is effectively a massive filter to prevent getting callbacks every single instruction rather uh you get them once per jit of that code right um use this if you Use this if you only care about things like binary coverage and you are not collecting a trace. You just want to know about the first event for a given hook. Okay, and then we'll have, uh, I don't know, trace. Um, hook fires every single time the instruction is hit. Okay, now hook inst is now gonna return a hook type and we're gonna say a hook type one shot. Gonna head, head off, my body needs some sleep. Yeah, it does. Have a good show, see you around. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. Must implement not, yep, that makes sense. So then uh, we only call hook inst in one place, which is here. Um, okay. If this, oh, and then we'll do uh, none. Uh, don't hook at all. So memory hooks, there's really no reason to have those be a one shot because what are you gonna do with the first memory access? It's kind of pointless, so I'm just not even gonna support that. Um, so then we can say uh, drive. I actually like uh, doing this a little bit more. So we're gonna pull this in. I'm gonna pull this down. Actually, we'll leave it up here. Actually, we'll pull it down. Uh, different hook types. Then we're going to uh, use cannoli internals. Uh, 
a hook type. This can be pub super. Only super needs access to this. Um, okay, 247. Then we're gonna say if matches, if this is a uh, hook type none, uh, do nothing if the hook doesn't hook this PC. Okay, so if you say none, we literally don't hook it, right? Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, then we're gonna have support for one shot and the non one shot. And we're gonna have, I guess, different shell code for the two. Um, hook type once and always. I like that more. Thank you. I was looking for better names. Memory access one shot could be useful to know what memory is written to or never written to. No, because that's not that's not one shot for the memory. It's one shot on the PC that access the memory. I can't do one shot on memory because I would literally need a database of every single byte to filter. Like there's there's no way to do that. Um, so it just doesn't make sense. It would it would fire once for a given PC. Like, the one shot is based on the PC, not on the operation. This, uh, it actually is based on the right and the size because that's also unique JIT. Um, but it's not based on the address being accessed. Uh, change none to never? Sure. I like that. So if it's never, we don't hook it, which means that it literally does not cause code to be added to the JIT. Which means this, tr it truly has no cost. This is unlike most things where it's just an empty hook that does nothing when it gets called. This truly does not even generate JIT code that causes the call to occur. Is this still related to the allocator? No, this is not. The allocator stuff is, uh, it's, I don't want to say on pause because that makes it sound like it's on pause. I am actively working on it. And the allocator is actually done. So it's not, I mean, I'm obviously always going to be improving it, but I think I'm going to have a, like a three or a four part blog series. I think a four part blog series on the allocator. So stay tuned for that. But I don't think we're going to be doing any more dev on stream. Um, okay. Um, all right. So now we have to figure out how we want to do this. So, um... Blog or a vlog? A blog. A blog. But yeah, I think that's a four-parter. All right, so inst took, inst took end, inst took, inst took end. That is the shell code. Lost in a and I think these are yes. Okay. Chat, you ready to write uh, assembly with macros? Uh, we're gonna have inst hook once, 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 once. Uh, once and okay, then we have these. And now what we can do here is this is all we have to change. Um, uh, we're going to do, uh, let this is equal to match, um, makes sense. So match on that and on, uh, a uh, hook type, right? Yeah, we can get rid of this. Uh, hook type. Oh. Uh, get the requested hook type for this uh, instruction. Okay, and then this. So all we do is we say, yo, how do you want to hook this PC? When you hit this PC, how do you want to hook it? You give us a hook type. Yeah, you'll find. 
And I can do, uh, I think I can do this. I don't know if that's a function or not. Okay, match this. Then we're gonna say, uh, oh, we'll just do this. Match on bits. If it's 32 bit and it's a hook type, uh, hook type always, which is the existing implementation, then we get a tuple, which is these. And that's the tuple. And then we go down here, then we have 64. This is now 64. And then we do this hook type never. Uh, don't hook at all, right? So now that's gonna be like, yo, what do we do with once? And then uh, I think uh, TU size is uh, a real value so let's see uh bits it's a is that a const associated constant fuck yeah Duh. i'm surprised it doesn't suggest it okay bunch of stuff not covered oh that makes sense uh yeah hook type oh so at the end Uh, panic, invalid bitness for, uh, invalid target bitness. At this point, uh, we've covered all the types we support. Togglebit, thank you so much for the raid! Woo! Hell yeah, shout out to Togglebit. How's it going, Togglebit? Hope you're having some fun. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you were behaving today. We've been behaving today. We've been productive today. We've been good today. We haven't gone on any rants yet today. Have we, chat? No rants. Look at us being goody goody two shoes. <laughs> Oons. Oons. Okay, so 3264 always, 3264, 3264 once, 3264 once, and then never, never hooks, and then everything else that falls through, it is only the bitness that's off, because we, yeah. Uh, I'm currently ta uh, tackling my first distributed si uh, system slash program, sync clusters of the same program. Know any good resources to learn more about that? I'm, I don't know of any specific resources. I'm sure there are a bunch, but I don't know of any off the top of my head for that. Um, sorry. Got robbed. Teach me Rust? Mmm. But I don't know Rust. Think of the fast allocator working? Yes, it is done. I'm going to be doing uh, probably a three or four part blog series on it pretty soon. Mm, Perk, Perk and G, thank you so much for the gifted Subarino. You'll need to avoid ads then. Hell yeah. All right, Um, what do we got here? <laughs> Nice one, gotta go sleep. Yeah, I know that feel. That's how I do my streams. I stream until I until I die. And then after stream, people are like, you wanna hang out? You wanna say you wanna say hi? You wanna do something? No. No, I wanna fall over and die. Um, were you gifting me as rude as heck? I mean, it's fine. All of my chat is rude. That's okay. We encourage rudeness here. Um Okay, so now we have to implement these. This should fail to build. Um, cargo watch, dash dash cargo build release. Yeah. Uh, how did that not fail to build? Oh, it's because, wait, is it because it gets optimized out? No. How does this work? This, these just are invalid. This is just going to crash. Let's, uh, let's set up a environment where we can run this. And do some uh, testing. Uh, 
And we'll do symbolizer. Uh, run this. Uh, yeah. And then we'll do Kimu, uh, Kimu Cannoli. Home pleb cannoli target uh, release lib cannoli server dot so home uh uh kimu build kimu mipsol dot slash example app yes undefined symbol that makes sense so that's good I was like how the fuck is this gonna run because we don't even do this. And then we will optionally support once here. And then this will have once. And let's just, uh, this now needs this. And I'm just gonna explicitly do this because it doesn't hurt. Um, okay. Unknown token and expression, that makes sense. This is create ins took. Uh, this is gonna have once is another argument. And I think what we'll be able to do is I think we can do this. No fucking way is that gonna work. I'm a god. Okay, nice. Uh, wow. Okay. Literally can't make mistakes. Uh, and then I think I say this. Ah, uh, quieres que yo hablo espanol? Ah, está bien. Uh, sí. Uh, ahora yo escribe, uh, un poquito de code. Y el code, uh, uh, necesito más, uh, perf, porque yo quiero perf. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. So can I do conditional now in in three and oh I think there's a way to do like if empty if nb that's what I want to do if nb yes yes yeah yeah, yeah. uh if nb once so this should Oh, and if. Okay. So now, theoretically, when I run this, this should crash. Correct. But if I don't do once, if I do always, this should not crash because, yeah, nice. Okay. So we have a way of conditionally changing the code only for once. All right. All right. Oh, uh, perfect. Okay, this is sick. Um, yeah, and I can do GDB args. Uh, X to nine PC. You can see where we are in the code gen buffer. This is us about to do a Leah. Nice. And the other thing that we can actually do, if we want to just look at the disassembly, we can pass this uh, trace out asm. Uh, if I pass it as an argument, just don't put it in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Trace out asm. I'm actually going to move this up here. I think this makes more sense for this. Uh, and then we're going to do this. Oh, uh, is it log? Uh, oh, dash D. It's a dash D. Um, oh boy. 
there's no support for building this with uh this wasn't i didn't build kimu with support for disassembly no they broke this they broke the ad disassembler um, you, this is the code that's supposed to be disassembled and they like broke the disassembler or there's a thing that I have to specify. I think this is because maybe I don't have sub modules. Uh, no, there's no sub module for, hmm. Uh, how do I pull sub modules? I forget. I don't think you can get pull. There's a way to do it. I don't know. Update a knit. But yeah, I don't think. The disassembler is in here. I think they just changed the disassembler like a month ago, and I think this feature is just broken. So whatever, we don't really care. We're just gonna get it right the first time. Um, so what we want to do is we want to Hmm. Hmm. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have uh Is there a jump never? Can I jump never? Um Where are the things? Condition codes. Uh, there's, there's no way to do a jump never. Nope. Huh. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see, submodules. Yeah, nothing in there looks like a disassembler. Uh, if NB wants... So I can just make this, like, super easy. Um... Kimu uses capstone, yeah, but I think they like just changed some stuff related to it and something happened. Something broke recently. Um, okay, so you can't do that. So let's just set a flag. Uh I think XR XR should set flags. I just want to make sure these actually set flags. Uh, are set according. So, Zor X X actually R fourteen D. So we're just gonna zero that out, and then we're gonna do a jump non-zero. Right? <laughs> it's crude. Uh, but we'll do this jump non-zero to uh ten F, and then that's advanced buffer. This is the end of the hook. 10. Um, end of hook. Okay. So, jump non... So, XOR that. If it's non-zero, jump there. So, we should unconditionally hit this. Right? That, that makes sense. I actually like this. I like the way that I'm doing that. I've never done it this way, but I kind of like this. Um... You are lovely. Yep, that's hitting the breakpoint. And if I don't have int three, we know we okay. So X or that jump non-zero to ten F. 
but it's always going to be zero. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is, um, uh, clear the zero flag. Okay. And this is, uh, conditionally branch to the end of code. So XOR has no cost, and XOR itself has no cost on x86 other than the little instruction bytes. Um, so that's free. It literally doesn't even cost a cycle. So now what we can do is I should be able to do uh, LEA R14 of 1B. I think like rel 1B. I don't know. Um, let's see if I can do this. Uh, mm. How do I do this? Um, I don't think I can. How do you do a local label in gas? So this is not going to be correct because this is not going to be rip rel. And it's already defined. Yeah. Uh, gas assembly local label. Numbered local labels. I'm pretty sure that you can do like actual local labels, right? All local labels begin with L. If it's written as zero, then the digit is zero. If it's one, it's one, and so on through up there. Unusual character, control A. So you don't accidentally invent a symbol with the same name. Nice. Um, used for symbols you never intended to see. If you use minus L option, then it retains these in the object file. Okay, so I think I can say L uh, branch adder. And this will no longer fail to build. That's not a local then. You may refer to them, you, this, to define a local label, write a Nate. Uh, a label of the form n where n is any digit. To refer to the most previous, use previous definition of that symbol, right? Use nb. To refer to the next, nf, back and forwards. Okay, well, we might just uh, do it ourselves then. Um, move rip minus two, because J and Z 10 F, uh, can I say short here? Can I explicitly say short? Let's see. Uh, yep. And then this is, uh, one. Uh, I guess that doesn't need a label. Um, okay. So... Yeah, and shirt should work. And then if we do like rept 1000 and our nop, this should now fail to compile. It does not. Shit. Try L digit. I'll try it. I'll try it. But I don't think so. Uh,. LEA R14 uh I'm surprised I can't do 1B here. And L1 just won't work. So it only recognizes this for fucking branches. There's got to be a way. I hate this shit. 
What music is this? This is Icon for Hire. I hate this. This is dumb. This is dumb. Uh, I guess I don't want this comma. That's just wrong, but, uh... L digit control character. So you don't accidentally invent a symbol of the same name. That is dumb. I don't think that is what we want. Uh, uh, Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? Why, what is this for instance? L1C dash A1. The 44 three is. I see. Oh, that's easy. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's the first one. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the control character? Oh, yeah, you're right. Fuck me. How do I make that? Uh... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Why would you do this? I'm telling you, dude. G and U code, man. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? G and U people. Uh. Uh. V. S, replace everything there with a uh, O one. No. No. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Oh, can I do it the rust way? Cuz I'm 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 in a raw string now. I'm in a raw string. Oh my fucking god. Control V, Control A. No. 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 Um, copy pasta from an ASCII table. Uh, there we go. We'll do this. Printf. Oh, does that not... Oh, it's not a printable character. So I don't even know if it's in here now. Dude, that's nice. That's really cool design. Um... A really, really cool design. Uh, who made this? This is, uh, this is basically what all of our computers are built on. So, this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. L11. Let's see if I can do L11.
No, no, we can't. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope the shell could never gets too large. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do math? Well, because I can't do like this. Can I? Ha! Ah. Uh. Uh Wait, can you do dot L? Can I do this? Already defined. No, you can't do that. Dude, why can't you do a fucking named local label? Wait, um... Um... Dollar local labels. These labels go out of scope, become undefined. Dollar labels are like that, okay? <sighs> Wait, I think it has to be a number. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. All right, let's try this. Uh, okay. I guess we just have to do this. Uh, mm. Remember, people, people vouch for this and say this is good. Uh, if 2B minus 1B, can I do this? Uh, no, I probably can't do this either. Um, 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 um. God, how do you not have local labels? Did you try that? I don't know because I can't see if I inserted characters that aren't printable. Um... Yeah, I can print off this X clip. Uh, primary, primary, clip, uh, help, selection, clipboard. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's try this. Let's try this. There it is. There it is. Nice. Nice. Now we want L one control A one. That's the first instance of one. Invalid character. Yeah, so you can't you can't even use it. It's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, it's great. So is there no way to do this? 
Is there no fucking way to do this? I hate computers, chat. Why does all software suck? Like, all software just sucks. I don't care about this shit, that's easy. Well, I don't think we can do it, so we're just gonna do this. Move, rip, minus two. Uh, what's jump? Uh, we can just turn it into a con unconditional jump, right? Uh, J and Z. Uh, six five, so six four. Okay, replace branch above uh, with a, a JZ. And that's atomic. I don't know. I'm going to add an int three so I can like validate that it worked before we do stuff. Uh, all right. VS code no suck. Mm, X. Uh, PC minus 10. Minus 40. Uh. Oh, minus 20. Uh, I like how you can't disassemble backwards. There it is. There's R14D, R14D. Jump not equal. Uh, which is jump non zero. I don't know. Did I miss? That's two bytes. Oh, it's rip relative to this instruction. And how big is this instruction? Uh, one, four, five bytes. Six bytes. I think it's six bytes, so let's go eight bytes behind us. I don't know. We'll just keep doing this until it works, you know? I think 22 is fine. No, 21. Um, where is it? We are here. Code jump buffer plus 309. Oh, we missed by one. One more, one more, one more, one more. I think it's nine, actually. I think meta construct is wrong. Where's the XOR? Uh, XOR? 247. Um, what? That's saying that is referring to 184, which is what we want. The length of the move is seven. Yeah, plus two for the XOR. Or plus two for the jump. So yeah, this is correctly referring to this byte. Um, oh, we're up here. We're on, we're looking at the wrong code. 22, 23, 24, uh, 19. Let's just do nine. FS int three. Mm, 10, 11, 12. Um, what? 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 
I'm just going to move into AL just so we can see what it's accessing first. It'd be nice if I could just like disassemble correctly. Uh, that's referring to 192. 245. We're off by one. One too many. So it's eight. Hey, I think move was six. I think I had it right. Maybe. I don't know. That refers to 183. This refers to 246. This refers to 306. Um, X1, B, this. It should be 65, 75. Oh, yep, it's the 75 encoding. Makes sense. So we want to replace it with uh, uh, 74. Now it should be good. Oh, I got rid of the int 3. So I guess we're just doing it right this time. Okay. So for benchmark now... Uh, if we run this on benchmark, we should just see them hit only the first times. Um... You know, you can do X minus 10 IPC. I didn't. Mm. Why does this never complete? And let's make this an unconditional branch. X or that 10 F. I don't understand why that would get stuck forever. And that's something to do with this hook. So I think always doesn't get stuck. Correct. Oh, this? How did that seg fault? What do we break? The fuck is broken? Oh, because this is happening unconditionally. Haha, <laughs> XD, ha, <laughs> lol. Haha, <laughs> lol, XD, one, two, three, haha, <laughs> woo! Nice. So this is what we expected. Yep, it's running that many instructions. Uh, okay, so then uh, once. Why does this not complete? Ten, end. End of hook. Why does that not work? Chow, why does that not work? Um, are you restoring all the registers? There's nothing to restore. 
Is it this move? Because now this should have the same semantics. Once, once. Yeah. Move E, B. Let's just put an int three up here. I cash doesn't matter. Maybe this code is an RWX. Yeah, it's off again. It's off again. Jenny, that's two bytes. Because it's an immediate, uh, immediate signed 8-bit integer. Uh, then we have, how many bytes is this? 203 minus this. 3 minus 6 is 7. The immediate change the encoding. Oh yeah, because we're, uh, yeah, yeah. Cause we did the, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, that totally makes sense. Okay. This is now gonna set to 194, you're totally right. That's gonna set it to EB. So after that instruction is executed, we look at this and this is now an unconditional jump to 181. So nothing has changed there. Okay, yep, that was really easy. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. And here we go. Executed. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Um, bam. So now we had 211 instructions, which probably makes sense. That's probably the number of unique instructions that we have. Um, okay. Okay. So, how many instructions is it? It's this many instructions. And now it is running, uh, it's running in this time. So let's see, uh, this divided by the time. Yeah, so now we're getting uh, 1.82 billion instructions a second. So that totally works, right? This, yeah. That did exactly what it said. It will filter it out. It only reports it once per code gen f per PC, right? So each PC per p code gen. So Kimu might rejit this code if it feels it needs to rejit it, in which case you'll hit this callback again. But it's going to be a radical reduction in callbacks, which means that this is now set up for coverage, right? This now makes sense for coverage. This 211 is going to be like the actual uh, number of things hit. Okay, so that's good. So then we're just gonna put this back to always, and and we're good. Uh, once and never are never used. That's true. Um, because they're hard coded in the same program. Okay. Um, uh, and then let's go to get status. Did we change anything here? No, nothing has changed. Get status, get diff. We added those different hook types. We call that. Then we do this now to determine the hook to use. The once and those, the never hook. Uh, once and that and hook type get Commit am added uh, one shot hook support. Okay, so now cannoli can be used for coverage. So what we're going to do now, um, I might change the way that this works, where you don't modify cannoli server. Um, I don't know if I like that model.
I don't like that users have to modify this code here. Oh, and this should go back to true. Uh, get commits am added in memory hook to not confuse people. God damn it, there's a space. We'll worry about that later. Um... How would I do this? I'm gonna turn up f-stop a bit. There we go, not too much, just a smidge. Just a smidge. What happens if we go max f-stop? Let's go to 16. ISO 4000. This is bad camera quality now. No, that looks pretty good. Now you can now you can see the plushies a bit better. They're a little dark. Ah. Uh? Ah? Uh? There we go. Now the plushies are on full display. Okay. Um so, I don't know if there's a way that I can get cannoli to work in a user's thing. How would I include that? Not be giving into na. That chain link fence is for dogs. Are there screens to protect the plushies? Yes. Yes. Um. So, how do I want to do this? I want to improve the API. I don't like this API. The API sucks. Voice is still a sync. I, I didn't see that first one. Yeah, we just have to do this. Then we have to do this. We have to wait a second or two. Then we just have to switch back to this. And then, and then we're back in sync again. Woo! See how you see this? Uh, just delay your stream until it's synced. Uh, handle it on your side. Um, hmm, hmm, <laughs> it's a lie. I don't actually provide register state. Um, I want to make it so users can implement this themselves but i also don't want to spend much time on this um How would I make it so a user can provide this code? They have if they include this as I think a static library, it works. How do I know where the user's code is? I could just fail with a linker error. I might just fail with a linker error. 
I think that might be okay. Let's try it. Here's what I basically want to do. Uh, we're going to move all the assets into there. Okay, I don't want to see those. There we go. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make an examples, uh, cargo new bin filter, not bin, uh, examples, cargo new lib filter. Uh, we'll just call this coverage. Uh, coverage. Okay. So then this is going to be the, uh, we'll say dependencies is cannoli server path equals dot cannoli server okay um then th this has to be okay this has to be a seed ilib. Okay. Um then I want to move these into here, into coverage. Such that a user can make their own callbacks. Uh, we'll say extern. Uh, we'll say like. I don't know. Extern. Doesn't really matter actually here. I think I just didn't want to give users instructions to do a dialib. And then these just have to be no mangle, I guess. Or these can call register. That's what they'll do. Okay. Eh, I kind of don't like that. Yeah, because how am I going to register them? I don't get execution. That's going to build a library. That's a static library. Then we're going to go into uh, internals. Hook mem. Hook inst. Okay, we don't have hook mem, we don't have hook inst. Then we're gonna do, I guess, uh, extern uh, rust. These prototypes. I don't know if I need to do no mangle if I do. I have. I don't think I've ever done extern rust. Uh, capr. No way.
And I'm gonna probably rename this to Cannoli Jit, I think. Uh, Cannoli, Cannoli Server. Uh, I'm gonna call this like Jit Filter. Uh, jet fill. We're gonna call this jitter. Rename that to jitter. Shouldn't need a no mangle. I think you're right. Uh, this is now called Jitter. This helps with uh, tab complete as well. Uh... Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, remind me, we're going to have to update the readme a lot. Build everything in the workspace, including the examples now. Just to see, we want to make sure all the examples build and, and stuff. That's fine. Okay. Uh, coverage. J uh, source. This is a jitter now. Uh, pub. Use cannoli internals. Um, what is it called? Uh, hook type. Re export hook type. Yep. I actually was kind of wondering if it would complain about that. Bam. Doesn't need to be dead code anymore. Okay, and if I do this, does this fail to build? I guess... So now we should be able to use... Oh, that's never used. Uh, if we say pub... Okay. So let's see now. If that compiles in links... Um, what that means is I should be able to now run, instead of libcanoli server, I can do, so there's now a lib jitter. Um, examples. Oh, libcoverage.sl. Undefined symbol hook mem, and we, did we fuck that up? No, no. No, I think that has to be no mangle. I think. Uh, undefined hook inst. Yes! We did that intentionally. And there we go. So now it's running again. And now the user implements their own hook. Okay. This makes more sense. I think I like this more. Okay. Um...
Okay, so I guess this is now the new way to do this. Lib Cannoli server no longer works on its own. Okay. Um... Which now means I have to fix up the readme. Uh, okay. Uh, your jitter SO. Create that. Um, create a library using the uh, jitter library to filter Jit hooks by implementing uh what is it hook inst and hook mem um this must be marked uh this must be a c die lib that produces uh that produces the dot so that you pass into kimu with uh uh cannoli build cannoli i don't have to do that uh run that this launch kimu with the cannoli arguments pass to the to the compiled jitter dot so that you built Uh, this is now uh, Jitter. Um, shared library which is loaded into Kimu and called is called the uh, cannoli Jitter. It exposes two basic callback or um, using this library expects two basic callbacks to be implemented. Such that Kimu, uh, such that Kimu knows when to hook and how to hook certain operations. This is the uh, filter. This is the filter mechanism that prevents JIT code from being uh, produced in the first place. If you do not want to hook literally everything. And then this now returns a, what is it? A hook type? Hook type always. Um, uh, the hook type dictates the type of hook used for the instruction and may be, uh, Never, always, and once. Okay. Uh... Okay. So now that's called jitter. Jitter in its own will never produce a working binary, and that makes sense because this doesn't even. Yep. Okay. So it still does bind gen and stuff, which is good. Uh, cargo build release. So this will end up building the jitter, but it won't be able to do anything with it because you have to make it. Cannolis are such good desserts. Hell yeah, they are. Thank you so much, Smooth Hacker. Hope your I hope your brain is nice and smooth today. Okay, so then we're going to go into Jitter and, um, okay, so that's good. Now let's try our examples. So we have benchmark. Uh, 
Addison use, we're running a server. Okay, so the benchmark still builds, that's fine. Actually, I think all the examples still build. Um, uh, cargo build release workspace. Just make sure everything builds now. Including coverage should build now. Um, and then we'll do uh, cargo new lib jitter um, always. And this is going to be the reference jitter. Uh... We're gonna actually do this as a default member. Okay. And jitter always should always get built here. And jitter always is just an example of what you should do. Uh... Not benchmark coverage. So it needs to be a C dialib needs to depend on jitter. Okay. Oops, didn't want to do that. And then we'll do a uh, source lib. Okay. And then uh, what was the comments? Let's just see if this code works. Bam. Let's just do this. Put the whole example in there. Fuck it. Because theoretically, this should build. Does. And that C dialib. Once again, we're just going to make sure that we can build this. This should only build jitter and the... Uh, Jitter always. And we actually just need jitter always. I'm just trying to make sure this builds like nice min set of only the things that we need. But this should now, yep, it builds mempipe, builds cannoli, bind gens this, uh, jits that, and we get jitter always. Okay. Now, if we look at target release, we should now have jitter always dot so. Um, okay. Um, okay, produce this um, for a basic um, example of this that hooks everything. See uh, jitter always, right? So jitter always is just going to be that. It's going to be the pass through. Uh, create a library using the jitter library to filter jit hooks by implementing hook instant hook mem. This must be C dilib that produces the SO that you pass into Kimu with cannoli. For a basic example of uh, this that hooks everything, see jitter always. And then we have jitter always, source lib. Well, that just... What? Where did, where did we put that code? In benchmark? Um... Uh, in coverage. Uh, okay, and then we'll put this in jitter always. Let's check, because now if we use this, now I can say lib jitter always. Can't find entry point there. Let's see. So we put this in here. In before none of this works. Oh, and these need to be no mangle. Um. Okay. 
Nice. Can't connect to the server. Just run this. We're on benchmark. Bam. Connects. Runs it. That's using jitter always. That works great. Uh, I'm going to change the seg fault. Um, do I have a Mipsol compiler? And do I have a RISC-V compiler? Yes, I do. Um, yeah. Uh, crash to exit. I'm just going to do... Okay, that'll truncate it, I think. Uh, we'll just do four ones for all these. Uh, Mipsol GCC. Really, I just didn't want to uh, benchmark with libc, but we can actually just make these be valid C programs, I think. Uh, we'll just make this be, uh, int main void this. There we go. I just didn't want to, like, include the spin-up time. And how many loops is this? Ten? We can probably do a hundred million pretty reasonably. Oh, well, it does. Wait. Ten million times 100 is a billion. Okay, yeah, so this is a billion knobs. Um, uh, GCC, I think I did this just for binary size mainly. Um, Test.co benchmark. So Mipsol static, doesn't really matter if we optimize it. Let's just say uh, O0G. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing for risk v uh, GCC. Um. Oh, whoops. Uh, RV sixty four. So benchmark. Yep. Yep. Okay. So both of those work. You can see the benchmark RV64 is smaller because I don't have a Mipsol. I'm going to build a compiler for that. Cross dev. Mipsol unknown Linux muscle. Yeah, we're just going to build a muscle Mipsol tool chain so we can build a little bit smaller static binary. I don't like having a 3 meg fucking GNU uh, tool chain. So that's benchmark. We have benchmark graph. What is this? Same code. Um, we'll fix that up at the same time. Coverage that we're working on. Symbolizer. Example app dot C. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to rebuild that with a MIPS muscle compiler. Oh, this probably builds it. Yep. Dash O O G no pick. Um, I don't know why I'm not using the muscle one. Maybe I was just too lazy to build it. Unknown Linux muscle GCC. I don't know. That looks good. So we don't have that compiler. Uh. Unknown Linux muscle. And this one we'll just do O0 once again for full full symbolizing debugging. It doesn't need to be no standard lib. Test.c benchmark those. Okay. And then we'll copy benchmark uh, star.c to here. We'll copy make file to here. And now this is, yeah, same thing. So basically, we're just waiting for that tool chain to build. Uh, then we can go into coverage. And I think we can do a binary in the same thing, right? Uh, can I have a binary in here as well? 
How do I do this? Uh, vim source main.rs fn main. I think you can do both in the same thing, right? Um, uh, do I have to do this? I, I assume this is probably default, so we can just say like, uh, coverage, uh, coverage, uh, uh, we'll call it coverage client. Okay. Nice. So does this build both? I'm curious if this will build both because we we need that coverage uh, We need the coverage library to exist Never used makes sense Okay, and then here we'll say uh don't care about memory for coverage stuff. Uh, this is, we only care about binary hit versus not hit. So we're just gonna say once, hook type once. Right? Uh, so we are okay with one shot coverage. Then let's see how I actually implement this shit. This. Here's an example that symbolizes. Here we go. Bam. Uh, and then the mem hook, the read write hooks are pointless. Um, and then cannoli. Uh, SP cargo toml. We'll just say cannoli is path equals cannoli okay and then we don't have read and write and then uh yeah so this is all we want to do we want to have our own separate thing that does one shot hooking and then hook mem on that uh that's pretty good and then uh i think we're just gonna rewrite all this code to be honest Uh, and this is coverage. Context. We'll worry about the symbols later. Impl resolve. Yep. We don't resolve symbols yet. Uh, this is for coverage. Trace is this. Context is this. Uh, empty. Exec. I think this is good. Uh, then client info. Um, is cannoli part of avocado? No, it's not. It's completely separate. Uh, oh, it is building. And it's running. Uh, okay. Um, now we got to fix all these things. Symbolizing, we're not going to symbolize. We have to return a self and a context. Self and a context. Take a self here. Print the trace we processed. I don't even care. I don't think we even need to trace. We can just return none from this. And then this is going to be a uh, coverage. Okay. So this should run nice. Uh, 
All right. Is everyone happy with that? Been hiding. You must have time. Um, so yeah, hook type once, and then we're gonna do perf. We're gonna do big fucking perf. Uh, I need an example program that we're gonna build to run in this environment. How can one person think and write that fast? I'm just used to it now. I've been streaming for a, a hot, a hot minute. Um, okay. Got a drop in a heart and a headlock. I don't believe in any of it. Okay. So now we need to add new stuff to cannoli. You ready for this chat? We need to add stuff to Kimu. We're gonna go into um, uh, Linux user. What's mmap.c? Maps. I don't think I need to hook there. Uh, syscall. Do Burke. That's private. Uh, wait, what is that function called? I think this is all we care about. Uh, target M map. Target M map. I think that's the one we care about. He's <laughs> a thousand X programmer. This is not. This is not how things work, though. I mean, I'm a. I might be a good programmer because I didn't go to management and stop learning how to code when I was fucking 24. Um, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta throw that into every stream here. Uh, that's BSD user. So this is a uh, Linux user target M map. Target mun map target reserve. I really only care about things where I can do shared. Or not shared. Uh, anon. Well, I can't search for not not anon. Um, let's see where the actual hook is. Oh, this is syscall. This is when the guest does an mmap syscall. So that looks like a hook all and mun map goes into target mun map. Okay, we should be good then. Marie map? What's Marie map? I don't think I've ever used Marie map before. But that's okay, that goes into target Marie map. Okay. Okay. I think what I might do, um. Anything that can take an FD. Remap can't take an FD. So it's really just MMAP. Target MMAP. Yeah, just this. So I think what we're going to do is, I don't remember how to use cannoli, but um, uh, we're going to add a hook on mmaps to cannoli. And only for things without a non, I think. If a non and FD is not one, Ian Val, okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to say if def cannoli, I forget how to write these patches, so we'll figure it out. I'm just going to look at this uh, quickly. 
uh, cannoli, vim, kimu patches. Uh, if def config cannoli. Okay. If def config cannoli. Uh, this is going to be, um, they use these comments. Um, report when a shared mapping changes. Actually, we can just report when a mapping changes. When a, when a map occurs. Okay. And what we're going to do is I don't know how to use cannoli here from Kimu. I forgot how this works. Um, cannoli. And then we can call functions on cannoli. We're going to do cannoli mmap PC. Uh, we don't know the PC. Um, we're going to pass in target mmap. I think the flags have been converted, have they? Not yet. Okay. So we're just going to pass in, I think, after the mmap. Uh, how many return paths are there? Go to the end. Go to fail. Okay, the end. Uh, okay. And then we have the address. Start. Um, so we can report the address and the size. Right? Uh, like we have an address. It's about to invalidate it in the TBs. So we report start and len. And I don't think I need anything else. The FD is useless because that would take a lot of plumbing. Um, okay. And this should now fail to build. In terms of Kimu should fail to build now. Uh, no such file or directory. Oh, can only serve. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we broke that. Okay, that's good that we're building Kimu. Um, This is now jitter. Good. Okay. Definitely some stuff is building. Why is this building so slow? Why is this so slow? Didn't I give it J48? Maybe it's just on some slow files. I guess soft and amused stuff is pretty slow. We're building everything, but this is good. Um, this is going to fail to build because mmap doesn't exist in cannoli. So let's start working on that. These are implemented. Have you got it? Have you got it in you? Um, so we have mmap and then we have monmap. I'm not going to do mprotect. I'm just going to do mmap and monmap. I kind of do want the flags though. Um, let's see what we can pass here. Flags. Okay, I can do like and map and non on these. So I think what I'll do is, um, if this is not equal to zero, so that's a boolean. Um, 
If that is not equal to zero. Right? And then, uh, prot. I do have prots. Prot read, prot write. Okay, sweet. Prot read. This way we don't have to do libc constants on the other side. Okay, right? Uh, start len, if anonymous is not equal to zero, if read's not equal to zero, if write's not equal to zero, and if prot is not equal to zero. How did this build? Uh, I don't think I have access to config cannoli in here, do I? I'm in BSD user, I'm a fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. I think it could be go to fail, you know, mem. Go to fail, the end. Mmap complete. Trace target mmap complete. Okay, I think this is where it is complete. I don't know what pa page flags are. Yep, now we need to care about host prod. That's what I thought. Uh, flags. Flags. Shared. Fixed. Anonymous. Okay, so they're using anonymous. Uh, then we're going to do... Um, prot. Target prot. Ah, so that's going to get converted pretty soon here. Host prot. When do we get host prot? Oh, here. Okay, it converts them to host prot. And then once we have host prot, then we should be able to do checks on host prot. That is what I was wondering. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. This will now fail because of error. And then this will fail because cannoli doesn't have mmap. Uh, cannoli undeclared. Uh, to get access to cannoli, I have to pull in um, uh, tcg.h. It's kind of gross, but whatever, it's cringe. Uh... Uh, I know this is cringe, but whatever. Uh, include, um, cannoli undeclared. Oh, uh, config cannoli. Bam! Has no end map. That's what I want to see. Okay, so uh, report when it's successful. We give it a start, a length. We report if it's anonymous or not, which is important. We report if it's readable, writable, and executable. And I think this is, like, good enough. Um, good enough. Dot com dot co dot uk. Okay, so now we have to add support for this. Um, and this is going to be in the header. This is here. Um, void, and this is going to be mmap. 
Um, and it's gonna take uh you and 32 T start you and 32 T Len. Um, then what else do we have here? Int is anonymous. Int is read. Int is write. Int is exec. Uh, invoked when the Linux uh, the Linux guest has when the Linux application successfully has m mapped new memory. Okay. Then we have to add it to the 64-bit variant. Is anonymous, is read, is write, is exec. Okay. Then we should be able to build this. Uh, Munmap doesn't have the field. Okay, let's add Munmap. Uh, what do we want for Munmap? I guess we literally just have an adder and a length for that. So, uh, yeah, don't have to really think about that one, do we? Do you want to do attempts to? I don't know yet. Mm. What you say? Uh, we're just going to hook at the start here. Uh, report when we try to unmap memory. Ma unmap. Uh, start and line. Nice. Sweet. Okay, and that doesn't do anything. It just reports. That will inject it into the trace, and then the trace will log that. Okay, so then we have to go up to here and do the same thing. Um, oops. Uh, invokes mon map. Okay, bam, 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 bam. Bind gen that. Okay, and now this should build with Kimu. Successfully. So now we have hooks for those. So we get Rust execution on successful M maps and all M unmaps. And we get start length, and we know if it's anonymous. Anonymous lets us know. If we're symbolizing, we don't care about symbolizing uh, non-anonymous memory. A client would be great if LVM didn't fuck up code gen every other release. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. La. Mm. <laughs> Not followed. Looks like this is all going to build. Everything's building successfully. Nice. Beautiful. No warnings, no errors. Let's make sure. Good. Good. One good build. Now uh, we have hooks for this. Oh, wait. These are wrong. We fucked it up, chat. Uh... These are all optional callbacks. If cannoli and cannoli m map. If cannoli and cannoli mon map. This way we don't get null deref's. The new plushie shop? Yeah, we got them all here. They're all right behind us. I uh, get def. On the header, uh, cannoli and mmap call mmap. If cannoli and munmap call munmap. Okay, so this now should be good. So this should uh, successfully just do nothing because those callbacks will never get hit. That's built. Uh, then we can run this. Uh, and now that that is running up here, we can go into 
Um, uh, Kimu. Mm. Uh, build. I know you can't see stuff here. It's fine. Uh, we're just going to try and run uh, home Kimu build Kimu MIPS. Mipsol, cannoli, uh, and then we'll pass in a path, which is cannoli, targets, lib, coverage, uh, release, lib, coverage, dot so, and then what do we have here? Then we give it a program, benchmark, benchmark, that. Nice. That called in, we see that it's MIPS, we see that it's not Big Indian, and that is great. And everything is working. So now what we need to do is we need to make those callbacks actually inject stuff into the streams. Uh, so this is just gonna be some, um, I guess mmap, monmap. Kind of don't want these to be arc specific, but they will be. Uh, it helps with perf. Identifier for the uh, callback for maps. And for the callback for mon maps. Okay, now that's going to be wrong. Uh... Okay, so we have all those now, missing tokens, that's create bitness, and then we'll have mmap32, mmap, uh, monmap32, and then 64s. Nice. Now it's supposed to have a trailing comma, I can't remember if I support that. All right. Exit mem up. Oh yeah, we just create them here. Um, where's the end of the macro? There we go. Uh, this is mon map. Um, and then how do we do types? Two size. Uh, M map starts. Uh, len. Anon. Read. Writes. Exec doesn't return anything. Mon map. Uh, called on successful mappings, and then this is called on. Uh, can we actually say these are our bulls? That's going to be a type signature mismatch. We can at least have i8s. Why do I need mmaps and monmaps? So I know when libraries are loaded.
All right, let's see what happens here. God damn it, can't open this. Oh yeah, Pop-Tart time chat. Um, what do you mean? What's going on here? Yeah, uh, we're just gonna say I thirty twos here. It's more correct for now. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand that. How is this failing? And my header is fucked? I would love to have something to say to what you're doing, but I'm just uh, testing Redis access with Rust. Hell yeah. Oh. These are just wrong. There we go. It was the FFIs. All right. Now we have to inject this to the trace. Okay. Okay. Um. How do I do that? Um, active buffer is none. Where do we set that up? Alec buffer. Assert that is none on entry. Hmm. 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 Sixty four bit would need a trade for its implementation. What do you mean? For what? Um, what's going on here? So the, I need to get access to the buffer. Um. And that. Um. Hmm. Hmm. M map. Let's see. An implementation for Kimu 64 bit? This works on all 32 and 64 bit Kimus and targets. 
Well, technically, it only works on 64-bit Kimu. Because I write shellcode in XD6 64 assembly. Bomb you. <clears throat> MMAP. I exit the JIT to MMAP, which then means I flush. I don't want to thrash buffers. Um, I really don't want to flush these buffers. Okay. Um... But I think I have to. Um. 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 How do I get hook here? Mm, hook state with. Yep. Uh, we're gonna assert that um, hook active buffer is none. Um, M map from inside the JIT. I uh, shouldn't have an active buffer. This is a little inefficient code wise, but uh, we'll see. We're just going to allocate a new buffer. And then, how do we use that? <clears throat> Alec buffer gives us a chunk writer. Once we have a chunk writer, I can then call send. Consuming the chunk writer and returning the number of bytes sent. That sounds pretty good. So we're going to do a buffer.send of a slice. One, two, three, four. I think this is just, yeah, I'm now just sending my raw serialized payload. Now this should crash when I run it. I think I need to rebuild this. Filled to handle client buffer truncated. Perfect. That would make sense. Um. Yep, because we're just adding random shit into the buffer. Uh, so what's the format for that? That would be in cannoli. Payload.get. Up size. Get the size of the payload to deserialize size of tie. Okay, while the payload is not empty, get the op code. Okay, so we need an op code. And uh, we got a bunch of free op codes, so we're just gonna go and use, uh, I think we can use, uh, I don't know, one. Looks like one is unused. One and two. Oh, 64 bit sets the top bit. Oh, that's cute. Um, okay, we'll do, uh, so that's 10. Let's do 20, one, two, four, eight. Yeah, so this is gonna be, um, this is gonna be MMAP32. Uh, then we're gonna have 21, this is gonna be M on map. 32, then we're gonna have uh, eight, eight plus two is C, if C. A, 
A O and A one. Okay, so we have these. So all we read is the opcode, and then the opcode implies the length of the payload. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're going to write in the opcode, uh, which is gonna be a. Uh, 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 TU size as U8 uh, we'll just say if this is equal to if TU size bits is 32 uh Uh, A O is for sixty four. Else, O X twenty. Opcode, and that's it. That should be sufficient for now. So if bits is sixty four, then it's A O. Otherwise, it's twenty. Down here, same thing, except this is now instead of B O A one and B one. Boom. Uh, then this gets an event. The fuck is an event? Oh, that's the user's format. That's fine. These don't get a... Oh, I guess users can map these. So we'll do a T, M map. Okay, let's uh, put the shit in here. Um... Yeah, the dollar sign is for the macros. The Rust macros. Oh, uh, okay. What the fuck do we want to do here? Yeah, all this is a macro. It's templated with respect to the target, uh, the target U size, which means that we use half the amount of data in our in our message, uh, for thirty-two bit because it's just there's less bits for addresses and and lengths and stuff. So it, it's literally like a optimization thing. Um, these happen rarely enough that we can allocate here. Temp.push, right? Like, I hate using an allocation, but this shit is so rare. Um, and buffer.send. Opcode. When did it get to? I'm just going to say none for both of these. Or all these. This should be valid. Nice. Okay, good. If. We'll just, uh, that's MunMap. We'll just worry about MunMap later. Uh, that's what we were doing on. Push this if this uh, buffer dot send temp. Unless I can write to a mempipe, but I don't think I added support for that. Nope. It's just send the whole thing. I could have it support where you can write things to it, but uh, this is fine. This happens so fucking rarely. Does Rust compile for ABIs like X32 and N32? Yes, it does. I don't know how well supported it is, but it at some points does. I don't know if it breaks every other day. Uh, opcode, then we want to push all the data. Start. Okay. Um, and this is just the parameters. 
start len then we're gonna push uh read as u8 write as u8 exec as u8 and these can be pushes read write exec and anon so now we're recording all of the information and then we send it over so this is send the payload um uh vector building packets we could do this without a vector, but I really don't care here. We got... uh, this is M on map from inside the JIT. That should never happen. And then this is A1 and 21. And then this is just the start and the length. Beautiful. Why are those unreachable patterns? Because we already used these. So we're going to change these to uh, threes then. Three, three, and that becomes a C. Uh, bees, 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 bees. Like it at all. You got a B and a three. Got a B and a three. Calling at this side. Okay, so that builds. And now this should fail. Perfect. Perfect. Because these now need to deserialize the correct payload size. And I can consume consume payload. How does it know what size it is? Oh, it, it doesn't. Okay, sweet. Uh, MAP32, adder, len, anon, read, write, exec is consume a U32, a U32, a U8, a U8, a U8, and a U8. And then we'll do T, MMAP, uh, adder, len, um, anon, read, write, exec. Right, 64, these are just 64s. These conversions don't need to happen. Adder and len. Bam. Same thing for munmap. My unmap. Uh, is equal to this. Uh, U32 and U32. Okay. Just me on this one. And then no associated. Um, yeah. Okay, um, invoked after a successful MMAP in the uh, target application, provides the base address, length, anon flag, anonymous, I don't know how to spell anonymous, 
uh, anon, anon state. There you go. Problem solved. Uh, read, write, and exact flags. FNM map mute self. Uh, not mute self. Um, then we're going to have... Um, uh, we're going to mmap, uh, base, len, anon, read, write, exec, uh, invoked. When the guest is attempting to uh, mon map memory. Put the base in the length. And this is mon map, right? Base length. The fuck's going on here? What am I doing wrong? Why am I doing this? Why am I passing flags? Chat, why did you let me do that? That was wrong. Uh, context is missing. Is it user? One for successful mapping and the un attempt for unmapping? Yep. Yep, exactly. Um, no semis. Bye 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 bye. Still won't build because these need to then return none. Uh, because these are expected to return an option self trace. Done. 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 See, that wasn't too hard. That wasn't hard at all. That was easy. I don't know why everyone was so worried. Uh, so now we should get MMAP callbacks. Hmm. Uh, M map O eighteen uh O sixteen X O sixteen X uh just put some bulls in here. Uh anon read write exec uh adder len Look at that. Uh, read, write, uh, anon. So these are not anonymous mappings. Read, write. Okay, none of these are ex executable. Okay, uh, that makes sense. We need to change uh, these then. Uh... 
Uh, target prot. Target page size. Is there like a target? Okay, use the same things. Sweet. Makes sense. Done. Why does making a thread pool make programs go faster than just spinning up 8,000 threads? Uh, I mean, that's just too many threads. Because the kernel scheduler's ass is why. This should now be correct. At least for permissions, this is now correct. And then we can add a mun map in here just for funsies. Okay. Um My unmap. Um, uh, unmap. Tips Fedora. Is this built yet? That's built. Done. Done. Run. Okay, here we go. And there we go. I don't know how we're mapping the same address twice, but that's kind of weird. Um. Yeah. So here you can see the text section. This is the only executable thing. Um, and it is not anonymous. So I don't really know what this M map is to be, to be honest. It could be a reserve. Potentially. Eh. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's prot none. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. It's a reserve. Yeah. It's anonymous uh, reservation. Perfect. Okay. So what that means is that we can go in here. And we can say, what program are you running out of key? Maybe just an example one. It's, uh, yeah, we'll do this. Okay. Uh, okay. So now here's what we can do. Now we can start symbolizing. You ready? You ready, chat? Raise your pog champs if you're ready. Lower your pog champs if you're not ready. If anon, if not anon, or not exec, uh, ignore mappings that cannot possibly be uh, uh, loaded code, right? Ignore mappings that cannot possibly be loaded code. Return none. So if it's, if it's not, if it, oh, if it is anonymous or it's not executable, then get that shit out of here. So now we should probably only have one mapping. Yep, we have, we have one mapping and that's literally our code, right? So I bet if I were to do, uh, File on benchmark benchmark or obj dump D. That's not what I fucking wanted to do. Um, I'll run this again. I want read elf L. Okay, you'll see that we have an executable file and it to 94. Is that the size? The load section? Yep, that's 94. Because that will get rounded up. So 94 read space execute. Read space execute. There you go. So this we're seeing our program getting loaded. 
And thus now, uh, what we can do is find that mapping. What's everyone's favorite type of cannoli? There's multiple types of cannolis. Okay, and this is uh, look for uh, dynamic code being loaded. We don't care about read. We don't care about write. We just care about a non and exec. And for now, we won't hook mun map. Okay, and now I think we, you know what? I think I can take the FD. I think I can take the FD chat. Okay, chat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I let you down. I was wrong. You were right. Uh, uh, cannoli FFI, uh, jitter. FD. Was it added to the end? Brrrp. Then that has to change in Kimu. Only for mmap, fd. They don't do anything with fd, do they? Nope, fd, pass in fd. <laughs> mmap, fd. Uh, FD, two little Indian bytes. I only have to implement that once. So that's going to be set up now. Uh, and then all we have to do is we have to uh, change the uh, deserialization. This now takes an FD. And then we pass the FD in here. And then we pass in an FD here. Okay? Okay, raise your poggers. Uh, not used here. I'm gonna tab that in more, I like that more. Raise your poggers. That's built. This might rebuild potentially because that header might have changed. Nope. So that's good. Now we do this. Um, and mmap. This now takes an FD. Now this is where we can get really pog. Nice, mapping three. That would make sense. Now, we can, how does that work? We can open it, right? Can't we? Uh, we're not in self, but that's okay. I might need this mmap to be serial. Shit. 
Shit. Shit, 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 shit. 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 Um... Head of our process. Actually, is this a U size? Okay, and then proc uh, FD this. The format, and then we give a uh, context dot pid. I thirty two. Is this gonna work? O two x of bin four. This should be seven f elf. Slice. Oh, unwrap. Okay. Not found. No such file or directory. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Because it's already been closed by this point. Okay, that's fine. The FD is still cool. I mean, we, we have it. Not that it's useful. Um, okay, so now what we can do is... I guess we'll parse maps. Actually, I kind of want client info. Where does that come from? It is Hmm Hmm Uh, uh, how do I, hmm. 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 So what I'm thinking I could do is I could resolve that symbolic link and send over the path. As I bite my nails. Mm. How do I want to do this? 
How do I want to do this, chat? Um... Um... Um 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 I think it's racy regardless, so I think I'm just going to uh Ah, uh, I might just parse map. I don't know. I kind of don't want to parse maps. So that's really bad. Um. Okay. Let's get this working. Let's do this. If it's not anonymous, then, uh, char buff 32. S printf buff proc uh get pid uh fd percent d get pid uh fd Okay, and then uh, I guess we just real path this. Um, result path null. Uses malloc. Uh, let's say pith is real path, and then we can free pith only if it's successful. Uh, print uh, resolved percent D to percent S, and this will be FD, and then we'll give pith. And a new line. So, get the real path for proc percent D, FD percent D, and then we'll actually send that across the wire. Yep, resolve three, two examples benchmark. Nice. That's what it is. Okay. Um, all right. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Chat, relax. This is good. Fuck. It's fine, chat. Okay? It's fine. Relax. Pith is null. Pith is real path. It's fine. Chat, it's fine. Fine. Free the path. Uh, if this is a non anon mapping. So this is going to record the path. Uh, this can never overflow, right? 12. Oh, this is like close. Uh, six. Four, 11. Oh, 32 is actually perfect. Uh, actually, I think I need more bytes. We'll just say 64. Now it's fine. Um, because each of these can be 11 characters. So that, that actually theoretically could overflow with, an, uh, with a negative PID. So we'll do 64. Now it can't overflow. Percent D can't expand beyond that. 
that will be fine. So if not flags, anonymous, uh, resolve that. And then we're going to report the path. The path. The path. And then we're also going to give the offset. And is that a target thing? Not a target you long? ABI you long? Yeah. Okay, so now we pass in a poof, which may be null. And uh, we get out a path. Yep. Nice. This is actually going to be really cool. I didn't expect to make this this nice today, chat. Okay. Uh, path, uh, offsets. And 640 offsets. Okay, build. So now this is going to regenerate those once we get this to build. Uh, incorrect number of args, mmap. Not mpipe. We don't need mempipe open. We're not using it. Uh, then this, then this is a path. Uh, offsets. Uh, I guess that's a mute U8. Probably an I8. Yeah. Okay, FD not found, that's fine. So now we're gonna serialize the um, offsets. And then we're also gonna serialize, uh, this is gonna be um, convert the path into a C, uh, into a string. And to do this, we need uh, Rust. Uh, C stir is actually probably sufficient here. Oh, it's in core now. Core FFI from bytes, uh, from pointer. Wrap a uh, raw C string with a safe string wrapper. Allows interoperation, blah, blah, blah. Must contain a valid null terminator. Uh, valid to read for that. Total size must be smaller than, yep, okay. Uh, unsafe, uh, Seaster from pointer path. Uh, let path is equal to this. Okay. And can this be as bytes? Two bytes. Nice. We can do that outside non save. Uh, use standard FFI Seaster. 590, unnecessary. Yeah, because we're already unsafe. So get the path into, uh, into bytes. And we have bytes, right? C string from pointer, path, two bytes. Um, that could be a null pointer. What happens if it's a null pointer? It's probably not good. Let's just see. Let's see. We'll see if this crashes. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's not good. Probably do this. If path is null. Else none sum. If it's null, then we didn't get a path, otherwise convert it, and then we get the slice of bytes. Then I can do a extend from slice of uh we'll do path len try into u16. 
I mean, we're not really penny pinching here. We'll just convert it to U64. Serialize the length, and then we'll do temp extend from slice path. Uh, if path is equal to, uh, can I do this? I don't know if lifetimes are going to be okay with me doing this. It might not be, but this would be nice. Um, Serialize the length of the path. And then there is the path itself. Nice! And then the offset. Fuck yeah, chat. Let's go. Uh, and we're gonna do this. I like this format more. Now that's gonna build, that's length. This should now build in Q side of things. We pass in that path. We free it at the end. And map doesn't return until we've serialized and sent it off, which creates a copy. Okay, now we can start working on the consumer side. Uh, MAP32, this is now going to be um, Pathlan offset, a U64, and a U32. You know what, I'm just going to make the, uh, the fucking path a U32. That, that's just, U64 is ridiculous for that. There's just no reason for that shit. Not on my watch. Okay, build that shit. Uh, then we go up here. We'll change this to a U32, U32, path one offsets. Um, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna have to read that in a second. Okay, path is equal to um, offsets. Uh, we're gonna do path, and then offset as U64. Then this is going to get the path which is going to consume, which is going to be advancing payload. Uh, path is payload dot dot. Uh, then we're going to do um, dot dot uh, path len as u size. Payload is equal to, do I have consume bytes? No. Okay. So you have to do this manually. Uh, payload is equal to payload path len as you size. Um, uh, map error, error, uh, path encoding uh, path encoding uh, uh, from UTF-8 from UTF-8 returns a UTF-8 error which is standard stir for, uh, uh, UTF-8 um, getting the path for mmap, uh, did not contain valid UTF-8 characters. Okay, and then, uh, 266. Uh, yeah. What did I just call that error? Path encoding? Yep. Here we can do a get on this. Uh, payload get of okay or error. I think buffer truncated. Yeah. Okay or error buffer truncated. Okay.
Uh, path land, offset, bam. Okay, we're like close now. Did this build successfully? Yes, it did. <laughs> Stir that. Adder. Oh, this is very wrong. Uh, adder len a non read write exec. Bam. 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 Um, okay. Holy shit. Is this gonna work now? Uh, mapping uh, this to X at offset X. Uh, path. Offsets. Uh, adder offset. Let's go. Beautiful mapping benchmark to that at offset and we know it's executable Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go This is a uh, cynic that we're listening to This is cynic uh, Elm is focus How do I want to do this? I think that's all the information we need to have. Um, yeah, and we're gonna literally run NM on it, I think, is what we're gonna do. Uh, invoke NM. To get the symbols for this file. This is this is gonna be hot. This is gonna be hot as fuck. Um <sighs> uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in demangle. I'm gonna pass in the path, and then uh, uh, we're gonna run output. Uh, discarding all errors as a lot can go wrong here. Let args is uh output dot i think standard out oh we can say okay um if output dot status uh dot success uh return uh do nothing if we got an error right parsing uh running um should have the music i know i don't know how i'm gonna do that though i've thought about it i've put like three minutes of thought into it and i was like i i don't i don't know of a trivial way of doing it Okay, um, standard out is, now I need to convert that into, um, 
uh, output dot standard out. Okay. Uh, get a standard out as a string. Beautiful. And now I should be able to print centered out. And this is literally the NM output. When it connects. Now, if I run a different binary, if I run instead of benchmark, if I do like symbolizer, uh, I do I not have the app in there? Um, coverage is what we're in. Oh, I think it's in there. I'm just getting tab completed. Uh, no. Uh, let's also see if we can build these now. Yes, now they're smaller binaries. Both those run. Uh, graph, make, benchmark, RV64. Okay, symbolizer, make, yup, yup, okay, so we have the symbolizer, so if we run benchmark benchmark, you can see we have these symbols, we have the symbols for this benchmark, uh, there's no printf and stuff in here, and then if we run it for symbolizer, Example app. Yeah, it's a different thing. Now we have printf, we have puts. Nice. So it doesn't even matter. You don't even have to rerun the server here. It will just automatically load the symbols for what connects to it. Justice wants a plushie. Justice, you get to be... You get to be a little hamburger. There you go. You're a little hamburger. God, that's so fucking cool. That is really cool, chat. Uh, okay, so we just have to parse this. This is a really easy format. For blah in zero dot dot. Um. Um. Uh. Line dot splits space let adder is equal to u64 from stir radix of spool next unwrap 16 unwrap adder type uh, spool unwrap spool next unwrap. Then we have a uh, name. Split n three. Um, spool not next. Dot unwrap and then print. Okay, that's all. It's all gonna be parsed. That connects in. Good. Now uh, all we have to do is we have to add this to our symboly databasey. And this needs to be, um, I don't really know what we can do here to make this an easy data structure. Cause, well, it doesn't need to be particularly fast, no? I don't think it needs to be too fast. Let's do a naive approach, right? How's that sound? 
Uh, standard sink. Uh, standard sink. Or uh, mutex. Yeah. Yeah. And then what we're gonna put in here is we're gonna put uh, symbols. Mutex. Or B tree map. Have you used 64? Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to into a string, right? Or mapping of addresses to symbol names, right? Sounds like Australian. Well, fuck you, bruv. Yeah, fucking chav. Yeah. Yeah, fucking taking the piss out of my voice, yeah? You, you fucking f whatever. <laughs> that was the accent so good. Yeah, wanker. Yeah, you bloody fucking wanker. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. You gotta slag off, you fucking chav. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Sims dot insert adder. This is not gonna work for shared ob uh, for uh, objects loaded at zero. We're gonna have to offset all of them because that's how this stupid shit works for some reason. So we're not done yet, chat. Um. Uh. Context symbols lock. Okay. You fucking, you fucking chav. You taking the piss? Da, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, we don't need the type. That doesn't mean fuck all. Fuck all, mate. That don't mean fuck all. Yeah? Okay, so how does this work now? So now I can do, uh... Um... Hmm. Do 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Boo do 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 do. Let's see. So here's the problem, chat. There's a lot of things that aren't based at zero, so the symbols will load incorrectly. So if I do like a uh, nm on user bin bash. Okay, bin bash. Uh, you'll find that these are, these start at zero, right? So the problem is, I don't know, I guess, how do I know that? If it's a dime? If it is pi. Yeah, ET dine shenanigans. I think I can key off that. Um, what else? What else? Um, uh, user bin kimu arc 64. Yep, so this is an executable. It's not a pi executable. If it's pi, it should be of type dine. Yeah, um, read elf. So I need to know. I basically need to know if I need to offset it by the... Um, Offset, right? 
I need to know if I need to use the address to convert it effectively. Does that make sense? Um... And NM, you can't pass anything to NM to do that, right? That's the annoying part is I can't say like assume base. Um, right? Yeah, there's no way to set the base. So I think I need to run another tool to determine the base. So fucking dumb. Um, let's see what kind of elf classes we have. Uh, do you want to learn about being an elf? Uh, something like this. Oh, fuck off. How many, th how many things match that? Are you fucking, you fucking, you having a fucking laugh? Uh, it's just elf.h. Dine. Relocatable file, executable file, shared object file. I think only dines are based at zero. Is that true? Is that true, chat? Does anyone understand elves enough? Because I think you can have a relocatable file that has a fixed base. It's just pydines that are at zero. I guess I need to figure out the base address. That's what I really need to do. How, how can I get the base address? The problem is there's no such thing as a base address. Um, uh, read elf l symbolizer example app. I could parse the load. Is the base address just the lowest load? So I could parse all the load regions and just get the, the smallest one, the lowest one, right? Because if I do this on bin bash, uh, first of all, I want the long form, I think W for wide. No, that's something else. Big W. Um, yeah, I think I can do that. Um, first we have to figure out the base address of the, of the elf. So we're going to command new, uh, read elf, args. We're not parsing the elf. Fuck off, chat. For pydimes, it's usually going to be zero. Base adders the load where the file offset is zero. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down because then we can confirm that we're loading the zero. We might not be able to check for executable then though. But I think that's okay. That are not um uh file mappings okay so if it is anonymous return none um because it's possible that the ex like this is a great example the executable code won't be at zero so the m map that we see for offset zero won't actually be the executable code um an elf technically doesn't have to have an offset zero load but let's let's assume that is because I, I think pretty much all of them will be so we're going to do dash W dash L uh, path. 
outputs. Okay. Uh, let's headers is equal to this. Uh, do nothing if we got an error running. Read elf. Remember, mmaps are going to happen pretty rarely. Like, named mmaps are going to happen rarely, so this code doesn't need to bar be particularly fast. Using the symbols does, but here we're just processing them. So, W, L, uh, K, get those headers. Same thing here. Um, parse the headers. Uh, is that two spaces? If line starts with... If it does not start with load. Uh, skip non-load sections. Okay, you like this parser? Think that changes? I don't think it does. It's it's good enough. It's fucking fine. Okay, it's fucking fine. Relax. Don't be so goddamn fucking picky. Yep, that looks good. Perfect. Um, and then oh, is it always that many spaces? Hmm, that might change a bit. Um, we could do uh, if line dot uh, trim starts with load space. I don't think they're gonna use tabs there, but there you go. Now, are you fucking happier now? It's like a little bit more bulletproof. Um, then we can do line dot trim dot split white space. Let mute spool is equal to this. Then we're gonna do let. Offset is spool.next.unwrap. This is going to be uh, u64 from stirradix uh, 16.unwrap. And then this is going to be the uh, vatter, right? Offset and vatter. Beautiful. Okay. Offset and vatter. That. Invalid digit because it has hex in there, doesn't it? Okay, that's easy to fix. We just do a uh, two dot dot. This is clean code. Beautiful. Right? Because there is a hex. Yeah, there's an OX. Yep. So we skip the OX. And then this is... What binary is this again? Uh, dot dot slash example app. Read elf WL this. That looks right. We don't care about anything else. Um... And we're going to say, if offset is equal to zero, then base is equal to some vatter break. Uh, let's base none. Where did my vatter go? Jesus. So aggressive, brav. Uh, base is none, and then make sure we got the base for the file. And then here we'll say if a non or offset is not equal to zero. So now offset has to be zero, and then we're looking for where offset is zero. Uh, look for the zeroth offset for the file. Um, parse the offset and vatter for each load a section. Okay, and then let base is base. And if that failed, then it failed, and that's fucking fine. Okay. Bam. That's good. Now, um, uh, offset the, uh, offset the symbol. 
Uh, so, uh, offsets. Change offsets. Change address to offset from base. Let uh, offset is adder minus. And we'll just do like sad trading sub. I don't know. We'll do uh, checked sub. Adder check sub base. And then we're going to say if let sum offsets this. Then we're going to do offsets plus um this is the mmap adder right so now we're going to insert that mmap adder plus offsets the name to string right so we subtract off the base that gives us an offset from zero and then we adjust it so now it's relative to the mmap address and that is now probably correctly registering symbols. Okay, we're just gonna see if this works. And then we'll uh, we'll try and run like a systemy thing. So that looks good, all those look fine. So then if we do, uh, let's do Kimu x86-64. And let's just run like uh, bin ls on my host. Um, that ran. Oh, I guess I get multiple clients here. New clients, lost clients. Something's failing. Let's see. Let's see if we're hitting that. Are we not getting MMAP calls? Where do I print like lost client? Where the fuck is that code? Not gonna print that shit. Uh, we're not hitting the maps. That might be true. Let's do Kimu S trace is one. What? Oh, there's an M app. M app. Why is this not working? Open libc so 6 Why don't I get mmap calls here? Okay. Okay. What are you doing? We're writing some, uh, we're writing a coverage thing together, coverage of code. M map end. So that should be hitting. Uh, okay, so I'm hitting that. Let's just see where this is failing. Is it a, oh, is it not getting flushed? 
Is it exiting so fast? Is that what's going on? Yep, so that's hitting there. No, it, it shouldn't be running that fast. Okay, so that's going into cannoli. So we can rebuild that. Um, what's going on? Where is this getting dropped and I don't know where it's getting dropped and it's kind of weird I'm not hitting this Oh my god, I'm an idiot makes sense Okay All right, it's all good chat. Just relax. Everything's fine. We're just dumb. I think I think. Uh, let's do Kimu Cannoli equals this. I think Ben LS is forking. Uh... The fuck? Why did that terminal crash? The terminal crashed. What the fuck? <sighs> bin LS. Bin. User bin Kimu. MIPS N32 What? Dude, I don't get this How is my code not executing? Do I have like a stale path? This feels like a stale path kind of kind of guy, you know? What? I'm so confused. Do you use ST? No, I just used X term. Uh, what the fuck? Dude, I really don't want to spend more time on this. Fuck. What is this? What's going on? How is my code not executing? I'm gonna remove my lib, lib coverage. Uh, RM. Okay, fails. Let's build this. That created a lib coverage. And somehow we hit a call to cannoli mmap, but we never hit mmap. 
How? Oh my god. It's jumping into something else. Yeah. It's 100% what it is. Sick. How the fuck was that working? I have no idea. There it is. Oh, that was fun. That was a doozy. I think this is working now. Let's see what we got. Um, day I'm away. Okay, no prints, nice. Now, that sets up symbols. Uh, mon map base len. Now, I think what I can do is I can do a beachy map. Uh, can I drain? Hmm. Um, hmm. I thought on B tree maps you could do things, but I can do this. Uh, uh, this is going to take the context. Is there a repo for Alicado? No, there's not. It's not open. Not public. Uh, clear. Uh, uh, remove symbols that were in this region. And this isn't perfect because like this, this can define symbols out of the range. Let's, let's actually add a check for that. Um, so we'll do, uh, sims retain, uh, K, uh, adder, and we're going to retain them where, um, if the adder is less than base or the adder is greater than or equal to 
Base plus Len. Just that. Only keep things outside of this region. Right? If the address is less than the base, or the address is greater than or equal to the base plus the length, then we keep them. Okay. Uh... We're just going to print a before and after here, a B and an A, just to see if that removes symbols, but it should. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I don't think that's right. Unless it never mun maps. So think you're doing the symbol address calculation wrong? This? I don't think so. What am I doing wrong? These just must happen before. Yeah. Yeah, we just not we must never mun map at the end. That's fair. That's fine. Subtract base and then add mmap address. That's wrong in general if the mmap section is not the one you extracted the base from. But it is. I'm confused. I'm confused. There's two executable sections. That's why we check that the offset is zero for the thing we're mmapping. And then we check that the offset is zero for the load section that we're getting the base address from. Um, okay, so then, um, we're going to, that's what I was missing, yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is symbol, gonna go there, trace. Because there's race conditions right now, and I don't like race conditions, so we're going to fix that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a trace. Um, a trace is a trace. A trace is an exec. Uh, and then this is um, mapped a uh, new file with symbols. Uh, add symbols. And this is going to be a B tree map of a U64 of strings. Uh, unmapped, uh, removed symbols. Um Hmm. 
Um. Because right now, M MMAP can be processed while it starts executing PCs after the MMAP. So we need to serialize these things. And we just, we shouldn't have that much data where I think it's okay if we serialize them. Um. Some trace add symbols sims. Some trace remove symbols base len. Some trace exec PC. Trace mute self context. Okay, and then I think this takes, uh, I forget what this takes, a slice of things. Um, yeah, simple. That's good. Glad that that was intuitive. Uh, trace exec PC, trace add symbols PC, trace remove symbols base len. Sims, sims extend, sims, uh, new sims. Uh, add the symbols, move symbols that were in this region. It's like something in this ballpark. Now these will be handled sequentially. Uh, unfortunately, this means we're not symbolizing with threads anymore, but we can't, we can't really symbolize, uh... In parallel, unfortunately. Um, I need to be able to move out of the trace. Remove entry from the traces. Trace is state.traces, vectors. Uh, I think I can move ownership. I don't know if I reallocate trace. Doesn't look like it. All right, it does look like I reallocate trace. Bam. That makes sense. Now we're moving that. Nice. Okay, and then we can symbolize this. 
I could do like lossy symbolizing where I try to symbolize it here. I'm actually gonna get the symbols here. That way we don't keep locking and unlocking it. Okay, and then we have to do... Uh, what's the correct logic here? This. Uh, it's just this. Search for the PC in here, direct symbol match. Let Sim off is equal to this. Uh, this is going to be symbols pos one. I guess this is sims. Sims. Um, binary search by key. Oh, that's a vector. Oh, um. Hmm. Hmm. I thought on B tree maps you could get the nearest thing. Oh, range. That's what I want. Sims range dot dot. Um, including PC. So get all things up to PC dot map, uh, I guess dot last dot map, um, sim PC. Uh, and this gives a KV on a range. So you got a, a key and symbol. So then I can do symbol and then PC my sim PC. Unwrap or unknown uh, PC. Like that. Like, this is, like, really close. Probably a deref on sim PC. Uh, expects our ref string. Fine, we can map that while we're here. Beautiful. All right, so this will hopefully print all of our symbols. Yep, we had exit, we had some other shit. Nice. I think you want next back? I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. I want double-ended iterator next back, yeah. 
Good catch. Bam. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so some things aren't resolving. Nice, nice. So I'm curious what's failing. Path offset base base offset. Let's just see the raw maps that we're observing. Six F. Nothing is there. You know what? I think that is the loader. Yeah, there's start. So we do see execution as start. This is the, um, this is LDSO. And the fun should take and tag real bus. Through the void and born to wave and particle. Set the elf interpreter prefix path. Yeah, I'm curious what's going on here. Ah, uh, I bet round the empties Okay, uh, Linux user loader. Main. No more. No boss. Um. Linux. Oh, here you go. Elf. 
Oh, I can load in a fault binary. If there's an interpreter, open the interpreter, seek, read. Load elf sections. Um, elf start m map. Set up arg pages. Load elf sections. Load elf interpreter. This calls target m map. Interpreter must not. No, they call. Um, wait, what are we running here? This. That's statically linked. I don't even know what the code running is then at the start. Okay, well, whatever. We just don't care about it. It's fine. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Uh, so we're in some shit. Then we hit that. All these things we're hitting. I must stay. Okay, and then we're going to add. I, I, these symbols are going to get verbose af. Verbose af. But it's okay. It should just work. Yep. Yep, so now you can see where these are coming from. So I can tell that this is a static binary. Um, but yeah, we can see every instruction that we hit. And the cost should be very minimal. So I should be able to run x86.64 user bin ff play. Something like this. Uh-oh. Okay, sweet. Good. Uh, parse in error here. Why? What is the file? Oh, yep. Some of them don't have a thing. Um, how do I want to handle this? Empty. Is there a split white space N? I don't think so. No, there's not. Uh, okay, we'll just do this. Um, Woo! Clean code. There you go. So that is FF play. 
And then let's see. Do you think I can get code coverage in real time of a fucking uh, real thing? Uh, stream VODs. Let me, let me make sure none of these are too raunchy. You know what? Fuck it. We can just do user bin VLC, I think. There we go. It's a VLC. Uh, okay, so we have some unknown symbols. But yeah, this this is pretty usable for getting uh, PC level coverage on a closed source binary in an emulator. Yeah, handle XCB event. Yep. I don't know what this unknown is. Actually, this is a great time to go check now. Uh, let's go. Um, here's like an example address that we're interested in. This cat proc uh, H to uh, PSAX grab. VLC. Uh, this maps. So we're looking for this address. Uh, 401F, so it's not, oh, it could be. No, it's 401F, A, which is this. 401F, A, D, A would be in here. I think so. Let's see. Why can't we look at this? Why can't we handle this? Okay, so what do we do? We do a read elf WL. Why does that take so long to run? That's weird. Uh, okay, no wonder there's like hangs and shit, because this... What? Why does it take a second to read elf? It like does everything and then it just does nothing. Okay, sick. Uh, I'm going to get rid of symbol printing, and I think what I might do is add some more stuff here. Um, trim starts with load. Yep. Should check out. Offset should be zero. Offset zero, vatter. Okay, let's try NM on it. Um. Okay. Resolved a path loaded at this. Uh, based at this. Uh, MMAP adder. It's probably 200 megs, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is this address still the same? 401F. I don't know if I'm getting asked. I don't think so. 401F.
Was it widgets? No, QT5 GUI. For a 1F94 based there. Okay. Uh What are we doing now? We're just finishing it up. Added the wait, what? Ha what? I guess we're doing these in parallel, aren't we? Yeah, we're literally we're literally doing NM in parallel just by nature of my program. Fucking wild. So I didn't even know that would happen, but that makes sense. Nice. I like when my code just adds parallelism to things that aren't aren't parallel. That's that's money. So we're looking for a uh, QT GUI. Uh, 401 something somewhere somewhere the fuck is it oops all parallel where the fuck is it uh 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 I saw it. Shit. Shit. It's right there. Hmm. <laughs> Where could it be? Oh, there's so many places it could be, and I just, I don't know where it is. Uh, mm, hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It's just right here. Added 14,891 symbols. But mom, I don't want to go to school. Gosh! <laughs> there you can see exiting stuff. Ah, these are not valid. These aren't good. These are no, th th these are not valid. God fucking damn it, dude. Okay, we're gonna add an uh, alarm. Uh, if off is greater than this. Uh, this is gonna be the sus alert, okay? That's the sus alert. Eh, we'll do like 64k. Alright, so now we got the sus alert. Chat, stop looking sus. Boo do 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 boo. Oh, there we see the. Uh, okay, we see everything. Like we see the first instruction. We see the, the loader. Sauce. Um.
Yeah, what happens here? C4, what? Uh oh, I know what's happening. Maybe. No, I don't know. Oh, uh, I think I theory crafted this issue. I'm pretty sure I theory crafted this issue. I don't think my symbols are applying to other threads. Nope, that's the same thread. What the ever-loving fuck? Um, let's just turn on full tracing. Oh god, it's not even gonna make it to this point though. We could load this binary up. We could take a little squeeze, see what this looks like. Why are these so sus? Oh! These are all fine, I think. I think this is the uh, dynamic CPU dispatch. Notice how they're calling uh, SSE2 implementations. They're calling the like specific implementations for a given architecture. So I'm not too worried about those. I think those are fine. This is a problem. Now we got a lot of sauces. And this is a different thread. Cause I'm pretty sure we've probably already seen this or, or this is like valid. Yeah, it's lib, this is libc. This is libc start thread. And for some reason, uh, we don't have symbols in our other threads. Is that intended behavior? We have the ABI tags, but then the overwhelming majority of them, these are not actually sus, but then these are all other threads. Uh, here's one. Oh, that is, how is that sus? Oh, I think that's just a race condition now. 
Because I'm printing on multiple threads at this point. So I don't think that's sus. I think we're getting a sus from another line. Um, but yeah, these... I'm pretty confident that this is just libc. Uh, hmm. It's not the remove symbols, is it? No, still the same problem. And I th I'm assuming that's in the right region. I don't think it's a coincidence. But that is... These are legit. That's on the main thread. Um... Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to print the database size. Sims.len. Yep, number of sims is zero. Oh, because it's a completely new connection. That makes sense. Oh, okay, we'll just put this in a, glo a globule. Um, I guess. All right, this is fine. All right, we got this, chat. Chat, get your poggers out. Go down, go down, go down. Let me see you go to town, yeah. Each new thread is a different connection to cannoli. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to towns. Uh, what's the new thing that I can use? Lazy lock. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah, let me see you go to town. Go down, go down, go down. Uh, uh static uh symbols uh hash map yeah fuck it let's do this eh. no nah, let's do it because it's a flex does he see you I'm a bad bitch. Okay. And down, boy. And down. Is Mutex static yet? Oh, I think Mutex or er, Mutex is cons now, isn't it? Yes, Mutex is cons now. Woo! Woo! Uh, mapping 
of uh, PIDs to uh, symbol tables. Let me see. Uh... But hash map isn't. Fuck me. Monkey. Peanut. Ah, uh, fucking cringe, dude. Rusted are concurrent? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Imagine using a language without current threads. Literally useless. Literally useless. Oh, I write in Python. Everything's protected by a gill. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> Yeah. I think lazy lock is better here. As a mutex, it's fine. It's a great. That's a great type right there. I've never seen a better goddamn type in my life. <laughs> Beautiful. Baby. Entry CI dot PID or insert with dot clone. Nailed it! Nailed it! It's red handed in that cookie jar. What you looking for? What you looking for? Nailed it! Hashtag blast! Hashtag boss, babe. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 
Fuck yeah, probably shouldn't be printing. The printing might slow it down a bit, but it will converge to nothing. Now that looks pretty good. Rowanus. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit stop. Yeah, there's like send mouse event. Yeah, we have we have real time symbolization of a real program now. <laughs> what do you use to debug your Rust and C code? A uh, printf. Uh, let me type it up. Printf. There you go. Uh, if it's Rust, print ln. There you go. Um. Okay, so yeah, look at this. I'm interacting with a thing that I'm getting full coverage on. <laughs> of every single library. You fucking like that? You like that chat? Yeah, I like it. I do too. I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh yeah, and it's a binary. <laughs> so we didn't instrument this binary at all. Easy. Once again, I write the best fucking code on the planet. Okay. Is it going to be an arc string? In LA. Arkster, you're fucking right. Thank you. That was that was going to be cringe. I uh, no. No, my music. Shit. Okay, then we're going to just have to put on some trash your music then. Does it need to be stopped? It's pretty accurate. Uh, format. Uh, can I do dot into? Is that just gonna do it for me? Convert a string into an arc stir. Um, can I not as stir on a fucking arc? Oh, yeah, ref, deref. Oh, double deref. Ref. I think. Can I just do this? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's a that's a double yeah, perfect. Okay, we can get rid of sus alert. We still might miss some symbols here or there, but that's okay. We don't need Pid and Tid here. Uh, and we don't need symbols.len. Um, I kind of want like a total coverage thing then. God, this is so hot. What's it mad about? Am I deadlock? Oh, does just control... Ah, I guess if you control C during that stage of the launch, VLC just freezes. Because I can control C here. Yep, and then you see the exit handlers and all that stuff. Nice. Um, I think that's probably roughly the right amount of brackets. No, I was off by one. Uh, for the process, uh, converts. Yeah, symbols for the process. 
Uh, coverage. Nah, these don't need to be arcs anymore. Um... All observed coverage. And that's going to be a mod offset. Okay, and then this is going to be an arc coverage DB. Ah? What's that sound effect? What's the sound effect? I forget what that's from. Is that from a video game? I think it is. Set. Donkey Kong? That could maybe be it. Bump in, bump in. Bump in, bump in. What do you mean it's not implemented for deep? It is! Oh, default. XD. Metal Gear Solid? Huh? Let's see. Mm. Wow, that's from Metal Gear Solid? That, that is? I didn't know that. Shit. That's the one! The home improvement sound! You nailed it! You nailed it! That's the one I was looking for! That's from home improvement? What the fuck? Okay, then we're gonna do context. And the coverage database. And then the coverage database should take a, uh, I guess we'll just clone this. And then we'll do a uh, cov insert. Uh, sim off. And then that needs to be an arc. How do I do that? Can I make a, can arc new be cons? Probably not. No. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we're just gonna say unknown. Uh, this is arc. Uh. Right. Um, okay. Where's my jewel? Song's fucking banger. Symbols coverage.
I know Ark is fucking heap Alex. God damn it, son of a bitch. I think I don't know fucking Ark is heap Alex. Jesus Christ. Fucking cringe. You didn't? Oh, that's cringe as fuck. How else can you make an arc work? Where's my jaw? Where's my jaw? Oh, what's up, Primogen? Did, did you just press X a bunch and then an S? No. When would I hit X and then S a bunch? That's, that's not me. You got the wrong number. Uh, unknown. Nailed it! Howdy, Dasu. You're gonna be nice to Dasu in this stream? In this stream? I'm alive. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad, Dasu. I am nice. More like M nice Shyamalan. <laughs> M nice primogen. <laughs> he got him. Yeah, bet you look like an idiot now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, did we nail it? Yeah, we nailed it, chat. Let's let's just assume the fact that we nailed it. Okay, and now we can do uh, cov.len maybe plus one. We'll just say cov.len. It's because I don't want to do this. It's tragic. I can't, I can't print and, and that at the same time. Okay. So that's tough. I don't, we're just going to print the, the previous length. Okay. Okay, that's a hard problem. Oh, look at that. We're already at 100, uh, 250,000, 300,000 unique PCs, 500,000 unique PCs. No problem. Code doesn't give a fuck, dude. This code is not even remotely scared. Can we run a browser? Uh, I got another browser open somewhere. Close that. What did I do? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought my system was about to explode for a second. Uh, okay. Let's try, let's try a, a Fuego Fox. Can we run a fucking browser? Ooh, uh, okay. I hate when they do this. This is not a, a thing. Uh, what does it call? What does this run? Uh, what's the, where, where is actual Firefox? Is it like user share Firefox bin? <sighs> Doesn't mean the con console printed 500,000 lines in that time. Yep. Um, this should be building this fine. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. An opt? Why would it be an opt? Why would it be an opt? I'm just gonna run Firefox and look at PS. It's in lib. It's in lib. Yeah. Yep, it is in lib. There we go. All right. Is this gonna work? There's no fucking way this is gonna work. This is a whole browser. Uh, 
Oh, it's loading the symbols for Zul. Yep, and there's a lot in there. Every time it hits like one of these massive libraries, it has to run NM, and we're literally bottlenecking on NM. Um, I don't know. I also don't know if you can run Firefox and Kimu like this. That's a, that's a little bit aggro, to be honest. If I were being honest, I would say that's a little aggro. Um, yeah, something seems to be breaking there. I, I doubt it's my fault. It's probably Firefox just doesn't run in fucking Kimu. Um, okay, uh, user bin VLC. Oh, dude, that's so good. That's so fucking good. Oh, it's so good! And it just converges to no cost. Yep, because it just disables the hooks. Yep, and that's exactly what I would expect out of my own code, because my own code is fucking god tier. Uh, okay, open file. Can we watch a video? Uh, pleb. Oh. Uh-oh. Borrow mute error. Oh, that's definitely my fault. Uh, poison jit exit. Oh! Hey! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Cannoli hit a poison jit exit. This means that something in Kimu exited the jit that we do not hook. Means the trace is no longer valid as it may not be flushed, and then I and then I kill it. I I tear it down. That basically means there is something theoretically in Kimu that we're not hooking for a JIT exit because uh, uh, Kimu is duct taped together with long jumps, and uh, thus it can be a little bit hard to perfectly handle every single place it can exit. Um, but I don't think we're gonna be able able to open a file then. Uh, home pleb stream. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna keep dying. All right, the, uh, let's try FF play then. Um, um, mm, this is probably a stream. Bad value. That's not a good value. And that is. Uh, uh, do I have another player that would maybe work? Because it seems that FF play doesn't work in Kimu. That would appear that's what it means. MPV, let's try MPV. I probably have MPV. And we got MPV. And it's doing stuff, and it's doing stuff, and it's doing stuff, and it's doing stuff. And that is the stream playing with full coverage. And then we got the stream, and then we're streaming, and then and, 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 and streaming, and, and, and remember we're running in Kimu, so it's a little bit slow. It's a 4K video running in Kimu with full coverage. Five hundred thousand basic blocks because if this were AFL, it would run out of entries in the dictionary. Nothing really supports over fifty k coverage. And we did this in one day, and it basically works. That's pretty dank. Boop, boo, doo, 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 boo, doo, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> uh, what quality of life does full coverage give us? Uh, well, now we can now we can know what code is being hit when we uh, run code, and that's it. And get status. Uh, get add. Jitter always. Get status. 
added some stuff here and we added some stuff and we touched a lot of code and we got a thing here and get sad is this is a get commit am added mf hooks and then we got a patch and then we got to make a patch and then it's not in my history i hope it's in one of these because i don't want to have to figure out how to do it it's get format patch and then we'll format a patch and then we format patch to standard out and then we put it into cannoli and then we put that into kimu patches and then we did that and then this is good and then we can uh remove the i think the get status we can get add coverage source main and rm coverage log.txt get status get add benchmark graph benchmark rv64 and then that looks pretty good and we got a lot of stuff get commit am added coverage support and mmap support so we can symbolize even though we don't know what symbols will be loaded into the program and get status and then get push and then we hope that we didn't break everything and we did because i forgot that we changed some of the things that we did so it's a broken build uh, uh cargo build release uh workspace we just gotta fix up uh the ways some of these things are invoked i think yeah 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 that takes effect now that's why i had that in my head this whole time and then we have to go into here and anything that takes that trace and then we end up back of self trace and then we go into benchmark why is my music not playing my music is not playing because i closed firefox to do a test if firefox ran in this i don't think we need it for that and now everything builds and then we fix the builds and then we fix the builds and it's good Do you like my song chat? I wrote it for you. Oh, and I do need to do it in here. 75. <laughs> No one saw that in the code work the whole time and then 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 Alright, that was pretty good. Please upload this song to YouTube. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Alright, let's send you off somewhere because I got raided in like a bit and I should eat and gather some dark rooms. Uh, twitch.tv, let's find where we're gonna send you off to. Uh, and then we're gonna mute the tab, mute the tab. We're gonna send you off somewhere, I don't know where. I don't know where, I don't know where. We're gonna send you off to. ba da 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 ba da ba 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 da Um... Okay, who's writing fucking C? Who's writing native ass code? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some native ass code. Someone's doing dabs and binary search algorithms. We could send you off to dabs and binary search, but let's see what language this is. Ah. Uh, Uh, it's, uh, oh, that's Python. Gross. Yeah, we're not gonna send, we're not gonna support a Python streamer. Come on. It's just not right. Um, 
Mm, someone's doing Kotlin. That's basically Java. I don't know. We can send you out to Strager. He's he's at least doing C plus plus today. Uh, all right, get out of here. I got shit to do. I gotta eat. Please upload this song to YouTube. Song was a banger. <laughs> The Kimu patches file is empty? What? Why is it empty? Because I didn't say origin master. Uh, lol XD. <laughs> uh, XD broke the build again. Get push. All right, there you go. Uh, see you later. Behave.